Hey guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chat, episode number 500. Yes, we finally reached that plateau, that nice even number. And I'm like, I'm not just going to do a random game or uh, even a random interview. I want to do the best CRPG of all time. And I've been waiting, I've been holding it, I've been waiting, <laughs> I've been wanting to do it, but I've, I've held off. <laughs> like, no, i got to wait for that nice round number, and here it is, finally. Matt Chat episode 500, featuring what I think is the best computer role-playing game of all time. Which means, in my opinion anyway, it is the best game <laughs> of all time. Or at least the best uh, electronic one. And you probably know what it is if you looked at the uh, title of the video, but just in case you have not, it is Baldur's Gate 2, The Shadows of Um. Wow, what a game this is. Still holds up after all these years. Fantastic. It's not uh, perfect. You know, there's little things we can nitpick about, but damn. Uh, if you've never played this before, stop the video, cut the video, cut off YouTube, uh, go to Steam, go to GOG, download the first one actually, play Baldur's Gate 1, then work your way up through uh, Part 2. You could start with Part 2, but uh, you know I think you'll be missing out. Uh, better to go all the way through. And you can thank me later, because uh, these are wonderful games that have stood the test of time. Uh, now in this uh, video I'll be covering the Enhanced Edition by Beamdog. Uh, you can pick that up, I think for about 6 bucks. I mean, it's an insane value. Uh, over on Steam, I think it's on GOG, I'm not sure what the price is uh, on the GOG version, but even if it's, you know, I'd pay a hundred bucks for this thing and be happy. Uh, but five or six bucks, I mean, total no-brainer. Uh, you're really going to have a good time with this. Uh, but if you've played it and it's been a few years, I think you'll enjoy this video, and plus maybe it'll inspire you uh, to go back in, maybe create a different character, try a different route, different alignment. I mean, there's lots of ways to enjoy this game. It's a little bit different uh, every time you play it, even if you've played it three or four or five or six or ten or fifteen times, whatever the case may be. Anyway, we've got a lot to cover here, so without further ado, here is Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Om. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 2, man. <laughs> Look, if you haven't played Baldur's Gate, or Baldur's Gate 2, don't watch this video, shut down the damn video, go go buy the game, play it, you don't want any spoilers, you know, just, just enjoy yourself, you're going to have a good time, don't look at anything, don't worry about having the perfect party, uh, you know, just go in there and have a good time, it's, it's a great game. I've said in my books, uh, Dungeons and Desktops, to, yeah, I mean, just grab this so you can see, yeah, I know what I'm talking about, look, I even got, got a book here. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit clearer. Yeah, there we go. Look at that guy. Uh, I say in here, it's the best computer role-playing game of all time. My favorite one. I wrote, the, I wrote a whole book on them, okay? <laughs> I, think I, I think I know a good computer role-playing game when I play one. Now, is it perfection? You know, I think you can, no matter what, you can always find something to complain about. You know, even the, you know, as they say, even Shakespeare, even the bard nods, <laughs> thinks the criticism. Uh, so there's some, you know, issues we can talk about. Uh, there's certainly some annoyances, but uh, I think overall you have to say, even if you don't think this is the best CRPG, you know, it's at least going to be in your top, top, if it's not in your top five, I don't, I don't, I don't going to listen to anything you have to say. I don't think you know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, so let's just put it like that. Now, if you haven't ever played this game, Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Om, or any of these, uh, don't watch, well, I guess, uh, <laughs> just, yeah, if you haven't ever played Shadows of Om, uh, shut down this video, shut down Matt Chat, shut down YouTube, go to Steam, or GOG, or wherever this thing's available, grab it, install it, and play it, don't look at anything, don't worry about having the perfect party, don't worry about that stuff, just enjoy the game, all right. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want anything spoiling that experience for you. Uh, so I'm doing this video mostly just for Matt Chatters. You know, I know it's this one I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, I like to talk about why good games are good. You know, it's harder to do, I think, than talking about why some crappy game is crappy. You know, that's easy. It's a little bit more challenging, I think, to really get into what makes a good game good. Instead of just saying over and over again, it was a good game. <laughs> you know, it's not about the... 
marketing. It's not about the brilliant graphics and all that stuff. It's just good, solid gameplay, good, solid game design. And I think that's why uh, people always come back to this this game over. Now, I'm going to be uh, over and over again. I've played it maybe three times all the way from start to finish. You know, I don't I don't enjoy playing it like every <laughs> over. To, you, know, you, want, you want a little time in between sessions, I think, to fully enjoy it. Give yourself time to forget some of the details so you can go back to it and it feels uh, relatively fresh. I'm also playing the Enhanced Edition here. So um, I don't think I've ever played the Enhanced Edition of this game, Shadow, uh, Baldur's Gate 2. You know, maybe just loaded it up, tried it out sort of thing, but never really uh, all the way through. So we're going to see how far we can get this time. I want to see what I think about the enhancements. Maybe talk about that a little bit. I always enjoy the the bigger uh, resolution support for widescreen. Never quite as uh, enhanced as you would like, maybe, but uh, but we'll see. Now, a little bit about the background of this game. You know, you can read more about this, obviously, in that fabulous book I was telling you. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, oh, great book. Uh, but anyway, what, what was going on? When did this come out exactly? So according to Wikipedia, I guess you can't see the little window there, but it says it come out. There we go. It's September 21st, 2000 in North America. And then the Europeans, I mean, they really had to wait. <laughs> Imagine how much it must have sucked back then to be like sitting in Britain and like, oh, my God, <laughs> got to wait a whole week. Ah. OK, it could have been worse, folks. You could have been stuck on a Mac. I didn't even know there was a Mac version of this game. Uh, September 2001st for the for the Mac addicts. Uh, eventually, they even got it, though. That, that's pretty cool. Let's see who's uh, uh, produced by Bim, Ben Smedstad. A little close to Smeg, isn't he? Smeghead Ben, Smedhead. Uh, designers James Olin, Kevin Martins. Let's see, the composer, Michael Honig, Howard, Howard Drossen. Two composers on this writer, James Olin. Yeah, so all a good, solid team. Marsha Topher on, as an artist. Uh, what else are they going to tell us about this game? Uh, I think they just basically said, you know, they had so much success with the first Baldur's Gate, they really wanted to take everything to the next level. <laughs> I think it meant like 800, yeah. Some of these were 800 by 600 resolution and three support. But, you know, folks, if you cared at this time about fancy graphics and gaming rigs and all that stuff, you were you didn't give two hoots and a giggle about Baldur's Gate. You were on some first-person shooter, blah, 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 you know, uh, fragging people in, in a 3D <laughs> 3D voodoo card or whatever. You know, I just, I, I remember when this came out, people were criticizing it because it wasn't graphically, you know, advanced enough. And I just uh, really thought that was, was silliness incarnate. Uh, I still think that way. I don't really chase the, the highest graphics. I, I don't, you know, my, I don't, if, you, if that's your thing, uh, good for you. It's just never really been, uh, been been my thing as long as I can make out like okay that's a sword it looks like a sword <laughs> you know like uh, the you know they're fighting it looks like they're actually fighting you know I can tell what things are that's about all I care about when it comes to graphics and of course uh, general aesthetics and beauty you know I probably put more stock in the music than uh, the graphics of a game like this uh, but anyway this was out in 2000 and I believe that. Yeah, our old friend Diablo 2, Blizzard. Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard. Yeah, June 28th, 2000. So these games are very close, and I always like to compare Baldur's Gate with Diablo because they're kind of contemporaries with each other. And superficially, you know, if you didn't know anything and you just saw somebody playing uh, these games, you walk by somebody's, you know, chucks over there on Diablo 2 and, and, uh, 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 Todd or whoever is on Baldur's Gate 2, <laughs> you might be forgiven for thinking they're, they're basically the same kind of game. But, oh, you wouldn't think that if you had ever played them. Uh, even though I think both of them kind of had the similar mission of, let's take this tabletop game. Remember, this is 2000. This is before D&D really is this sort of mainstream phenomenon like it is now where everybody's playing it yes it was always it's always been popular game not saying that it's just it kind of had this uh, reputation for being nerdy 
And if you play the Pool of Radiance, the Gold Box series, all those sorts of games, you got to kind of know a lot. Uh, it's not. It's more of a cerebral experience often than uh, clicky clicky of oh, things going, <laughs> blowing up stuff, <laughs> clicky clicky, loot loot loot. You know, that was uh, before this, or that that came a lot uh, after this, really <laughs> in response to Diablo. Uh, I'm not a the I'm a Baldur's Gate fan. I, I would, if I had to choose Diablo. Or uh, Baldur's Gate. I don't have to think about that for two seconds. Even Baldur's Gate, but this is a this is the rival. This is the competition for this game. This is the, the called it the Click Fest. They're trying to break, make it more action, make it more arcade like. Strip out all the sort of mechanics that you really uh, uh, have to ponder. <laughs> you know, Diablo. When you play Diablo. You don't spend you know half an hour to an hour to two hours creating characters and parties. I mean, you you basically say, okay, I'll be a warrior. Or the thief, or whatever you could, you can. <laughs> I'm being a little bit silly here to make a point, folks, but you know what I'm saying. It's click, click. You're boom. You're clicking on skeletons. Things are blowing up. You're getting loot. You know, it's all about the uh, the uh, the hormones, the, uh, the dopamine uh, hits, that that sort of thing. Uh, whereas Baldur's Gate Two, yes, they do the real time with pause. That's about as far as they go with trying to make this ex tabletop experience to the desktop. And trying to, you know, make it just action enough, active enough, so that you're not just sitting there watching uh, <laughs> the text scroll by. I mean, you know, I, I love pool radiance. I love those gold box games. You, you know I do. I mean, look at the cover of the, of the book again. But, yes, those are kind of relaxing. <laughs> I, I, I think about uh, Bard's Tale, that, that those games where you had to, like, sit there and would say, oh, so-and-so hits. Oh, the nomad misses. Oh, the nomad has just killed you. But it's kind of like slowly scrolling by on this little, this little thing that you read on the side. It's, it's not a, you're not just, you know, it's not about clicks per minute with something like that. Uh, once, once we get this in the real time with pause, it does make it a little bit more frenetic, I guess, a little more frantic. Uh, I that's the only thing about the game actually I didn't like. You know, I would uh, love to see them. And somebody's probably done this already, but uh, you know, like with the uh, that, that sort of turn-based stuff that you get with the Divinity Original Sin. Uh, what's the other game that they recently uh, went back and made a turn-based mode? Uh, God, what was it? I'm kind of blanking on the name. I'm, I'm excited about Baldur's Gate 2 right now. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyway, I'd love to see somebody you know, go back and, and try to make this more of a turn-based experience. But I, the impression I get is it would take a lot more work than it sounds because they sort of try to gear everything towards that real time with pause. So I'm not sure it would work. Uh, you couldn't just do it easily. You know, it would take some, a lot of under the, under the hood, a lot of uh, changes beyond just the, uh, uh, the interface. So we'll still wait and, and see what we think. But anyway, I've jabbered enough. It's time to get in this game and get it going. Shadows of Arm. <laughs> the Lord of Murder shall perish. So saith the wise Alando. I mean, boom. You don't need some fancy, elaborate intro movie. <laughs> you get a quote. <laughs> it's quoting itself. That's all you need. There we go. Imoen shared this home. A kingdom uh, spirit. It's coming back Her to background me. was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer Saravak was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravak were a product of the time of troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death walked the land before the cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Bob, <laughs> baby. lord of murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new lord of murder. You killed your brother, sending his tank back to Baal. You were the hero Sending of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravok. 
You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. And there's the sun. What's this game called? Oh, Dungeons. In the dungeon. Yeah. Welcome to the Matt King. Oh, man, you know what I was thinking when I was watching that? You know, I have a copy here. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. You know, like when you were a kid and you're like thumbing through the Dungeon Master's Guide? This is a, you know, like looking at the, whoa, looking at the artwork and stuff and, you know, imagining what if that, you know, sort of came alive? That's what that cutscene reminded me of. It was like in that same sort of, that same style, the same vibe. You know, I don't know about you, even before I played D&D, &D, didn't even really understand understand it. I would go to the bookstore and just thumb through the books and sort of imagine the possibilities. Just something about the artwork uh, always uh, inspired me. Okay, let's get into this game. My goodness, single player. They never have an option for married player, you know. It's new game, pre-generate character. No, no, new game, yeah. I guess you could import your Baldur's Gate 1 game, but <clears throat> I don't have a Baldur's Gate 1 save handy, I don't believe. Ah, we'll just start, we'll start fresh. Gender, it's always about gender. Yeah, all right. Gender, oh, only two, what? Oh, am I male, am I female? Oh, let's go male. Done. <laughs> You know, I think you always have to go on. I played this guy a couple of times. Ah, yeah, the dwarf. Woohoo! Something fun about this. You know, I, I always, I'm always picking this guy. Uh, I don't know if maybe I'm like Irish. I think I'm like Irish. Everybody's got to be a little bit Irish, a little bit English. Well, not a bad looking work there. Not sure what this. <laughs> Somebody see run around Farscape. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, would you like some mead? Uh, that's not a bad looking character. I think we have a, This must be a bard. This is like a mandolin. Yeah, a little Wesley. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, they don't tell you uh, that you probably shouldn't pick one of the portraits. Uh, somebody told me that if you do happen to pick a portrait that's used by one of the in-game uh, NPCs, one of the playable characters you can pick up along the way, that'll give them a different portrait. So I've never tested that out. You know, I'm not even sure what I want to play yet. Oh, there's a good looking gnome. I like the hat. You know, I like the... I don't really wear hats, but... Oh, this guy's got a pipe and a hat. Mm. Oh, tough choices. <laughs> Couldn't do custom, but, you know, this is pretty close to me. <laughs> Look at him. Gender male. Oh, we've already done that. Come on. Oh, race. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is getting more and more interesting. <laughs> like, I don't do politics on this channel. Gnome. I don't see nothing. Gnome. I like a halfling. I think halflings. You know, I mean, we all kind of like halflings, right? You, you, you came to this because you read Tolkien. 
You read The Hobbit, you read Lord of the Rings, and yada yada. Uh, half elf. Elf. You always wonder, why don't you have like a half dwarf? Is a, is a half ling. Is this supposed to be half dwarf, half elf? You always know, this half and half. Dwarf. <laughs> There's like at least one RPG I've played where you had dwarfs. Like, you just assume it's gotta be half elf, half human, but why not half elf, half gnome, or, you know, half orc, half. Anyway, you get, you get the point. Let's see. I, I'm trying to remember what the actual gameplay, how this breaks down in terms of gameplay. I'm pretty sure gender doesn't matter, but I think the. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff about class, dual class. You can dual class as a human, but you can't multi class. So you kind of, uh, you know, if you if you plan on doing some interesting things with like a level of this, a level of that, you, you might not want to go with human, but typically they're usually one of the best options. Let's see, the elf gets a nice Thacko ball. Oh, Thacko! <laughs> Do hit armor class zero! Bonus with bows. You 5e e folks have no idea what we're talking about here. And I love it. <laughs> Plus one Thacko bonus with bow, short sword, and long sword. Those are all good weapons. I think you get a... Oh, 90% resistance against charm and sleep. I don't remember whether that's all that important. Infravision's nice, but not a big deal in this game, I don't believe. Uh, minus 5% open locks. Minus one to constitution sucks. But you do get a nice buff to dex. Let's see, half elf. Uh, it's basically the same as the elf, but you. Wait. So you don't get the Thacko bonus. And you don't get the. Huh. You only get partial resistance to these things. The half elf doesn't look very good on this, uh, this info screen. You know, typically I'd want to have Game Banshee going on the side there because they have, the, have some really great maps things of that sort of little tips on like how to put together a decent character. You know, I almost always go dwarf, but maybe just do something a little different. I'm kind of leaning, you know, I've done gnomes before. Some people say that there's really no choice. The gnome is the best, uh, especially if you pick a certain uh, combination. I think it's the, one of these gnomes gets a pretty intense advantage with uh, spell crafting, is it? I uh, don't want to do the half, half orc. <laughs> you know, it's either dwarf or halfling. Plus one Thacko bonus from slings. You know, I'm going to go halfling. <laughs> I love that portrait. <laughs> okay, class. Don't get a whole lot of options. Get this fighter thief. Um, this fighter thief combo. That sounds pretty good. I, I'm thinking, is Emma one in this game? I think she's a thief in the first one. I definitely have to have her in the party. I don't know if she's a straight up fighter. I always get a little mixed up about what she does in this one. You know, that, that's one of the weaknesses of the game, really, is you, you, you don't know, if you know, especially if it's your first time playing, you don't know these characters you're going to be meeting, and you don't want to double up certain things. Like, it wouldn't do you a whole lot of good to have two thieves in the party or two uh i guess two clerics might not be a bad thing there's plenty of room there to specialize differently but, you know i might go with that uh you know it's, it is yeah clerics compelling option just because it's, it's kind of hard to find a good cleric and that you at least in my experience they might have added some for the enhanced experience <laughs> may cast priest spell may wear helmets May wear any armor. But you know, as a halfling, I'm going to not be so strong. I'm going to have dex. I probably want to do the fighter thief or just straight up thief. I'm leaning towards the the fighter thief. I always kind of like that combo. Let's just go with that. I'm so chaotic, I can't even make up my mind. What am I? Am I a fighter thief? <laughs> oh, gotta go chaotic. Let's see, chaotic, good. So we don't believe in laws, but we think 
They have no use for people who try to push folk around and tell them what to do. Oh, that's not true. That's what I that's what I enjoy doing. Chaotic neutral, extremely difficult to deal with. Such characters have been known to cheerfully and for no apparent reason. For no apparent purpose, gamble away everything they have on the roll of a single. Di that is me. <laughs> Lunatics and madmen tend towards chaotic neutral behavior. Oh, I'm chaotically neutral. <laughs> Abilities. Strength, dex, con, int, wisdom. I think we get a bonus on the dex. Yep. So, oh, I kind of pumped this up. Oh, we still got a roll. Okay, so I guess I can take a point. Let's take a point away from it, pump it into uh, Dex, but, you know, I kind of like this character. I, I usually have to re-roll a bunch of times, but, you know, this is look, this looks pretty good. I kind of like this. I think I'm going to stick with this. Let's just go with this. All right, then we got our skills. The Bastion Sword! That's a sword who's... Nobody knows who the sword's dad is. It's a very sad story, isn't it? Long sword, short sword. <laughs> well, I am a hobbit. <laughs> Whoops! Or did I say hobbit? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tolkien Estate. I didn't mean that. Half, 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 yes, half, half hobbit. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. We get an advantage, I think, to sling. I just can't see using a sling as my main weapon, even though I am a halfling. Oh, jeez, I wish I remember what else the halflings get a bonus for. Oh, all extra attacks are only available to warrior. You know, it would probably be fun to do use like a scimitar. Usually end up with like at least one good scimitar. And that's another problem with these games. You're like, am I ever going to find a really good, uh, you know, wakas, wakazashi or ninjato? Or katana, <laughs> you may go the whole game and never find a decent one. Whereas you can better, you better believe you're going to be finding lots of long swords, two-handed swords. So those are usually pretty safe options. All right, fighter thief might actually be fun to do like a two-weapon style with that. I have a couple of a couple of knives. I kind of like the, that idea. Let's go with the dagger. Okay, hi, Master. Proficient. <clears throat> we can use it without a penalty. Specialized. We get a plus one to hit, plus two to damage. And for warriors only, an extra half attack per round. So that sounds pretty compelling. Let's go ahead and see if we can double that. And then if we put a point in the style, I think the style... Yeah, fewer penalties for having two of them. Proficient. The well wielder's still... Penalties are reduced to minus two of the main weapon, negative six. So is that all? <laughs> we get two points, then we get a... It's even better, obviously. All right, so there's a... That'll probably be my main thing. I guess we could... Do you want to go just two daggers, or do you want to have a, a different weapon in the one hand? Let's see. I'm trying to think of uh, what I might want to do. Uh, I guess I could invest a little bit in a ranged weapon, just just in case I end up wanting to go that route sometimes. Uh, what to do? What to do? Um, you know, I think it, I might just to be funny. <laughs> the halfling with the. Uh, what should my other weapon be? Alright, so a dagger is a piercing weapon, so I probably don't want two of those. I guess a club is kind of a safe choice for a mace. You know, how much difference is there between a club and a mace? <laughs> Let's go with that mace. Okay. Pickpockets? I don't ever pick pockets. Open locks is big. I like to find traps. Oh, I got a bunch of these points. Can I just tap it in? No. Nope. It's not that enhanced, Matt. Can you shift click? No. Nope. You gotta click that mouse button a hundred times. Hide in shadows. Move 
silently. I never set traps. Did you ever set traps? Yeah, maybe that's... Uh, I'm just going to dump some points into it. Detect Delusion, that sounds good, I guess. <laughs> While an adventurer searches for traps, his well-trained eyes allow him to detect the minor inconsistency caused by illusion spells. Probably useless, but I'll put some points. I kind of want to fixate on uh, opening locks, because there's nothing more annoying than not being able to open up a lock. There is not a lock that my character cannot open. Yeah, let's do the fine traps. Again, not sure how urgent it is, but we'll just go for that. All right, then our appearance. <laughs> hey! <laughs> like he's putting a quarter into a pinball machine. Oh, look at all these. Does this make any difference? Whee! I don't like that color. It's kind of purpley. I don't like... How do we get rid of that? No, oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is important because you'll be hearing this a lot. What is AON? Andrew. Ha! Death comes for you! Have at you! Batter them into bloody rubbish! <laughs> I kind of like that. Let's see. Ah! Taking the lead, all right. <laughs> that sounds like the guy they had sitting around the office. <laughs> hey, Dan, quit working on that spreadsheet and get over here, man. We need you to record a voice. How about a nap? <laughs> Just a quick one. Yeah, Dan, you need to take more showers, man. You smell like cat urine. Elise! Ah! Yes! Oh, I could use a nap. When are we going to do something interesting? Hmm. I'm thinking that voice might work for my halfling. Ha! I will lead us to victory. <sighs> Let's do this quick and painful. <laughs> Ooh, context. Okay. To battle with no regrets. To battle and victory. That does not sound like the character I have in mind. To battle and victory! You know, none of these really... F What's the default? To battle and victory! I will strive to lead responsibly. Not to... To battle that. and victory! Oh, jeez. To battle and... To battle with no regret. Let's do this quick and painful. All right. <laughs> I might have to go... Which, which was a... Batter them into bloody rubbish! Mm. Ah! Taking the lead, all right. <laughs> you know, this is kind of a. I, I thought there were more voices than this. Ha! The power, the power. <laughs> all right, none of those really fit. Just have to go with it. Okay, name. And imagine how dorky. You know. Yeah, we could clear this. And write your own biography. <laughs> uh, I think this is must be material from the first game. Now you face an uncertain future. A child of murder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Name will be that. Oh, yes. <laughs> A great party. Oh, you mean I could can actually just create my whole party? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Probably not in the spirit of the game, but hey, you could. Difficulty. Story mode. Yeah, he's a hedge story mode. Easy, no. Normal. Enemies deal 25% less damage. Party members cannot permanently die. Hit point rolls are maximized. The spells can be copied into spellbooks without failure. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hard. Insane. <laughs> Legacy of Bob. Enemies have all the benefits of insane difficulty, but wait, there's more. Significantly more hit points improved. Facco, better saving throws, more attacks. It's just hard, people. God, just kills you sometimes, just randomly. Uh, you know, that 
I hate when the spell book thing. That's annoying. I don't like the idea of them doing less damage, but. Nah, I think normal's okay. Venture Falls. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more experiments. Voice actor. You might have passed away fairly recently. The pain Sadly. will only be passing. You should survive the process. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Yes. Do you even realize your potential? Some flashbacks to graduate school. More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. She is. Wake up, you. Wake up. Come on. We have to get out of here. Now tell me you didn't have fantasies about being with Emma when, when you were 12 or 13 playing this the first time. You had a crush on her, didn't you? What, Emma? Lynn, what's going on? Man, I sure did. I thought she was great. Uh, what's going on? Who are you? Come on. We know who this is. <laughs> Keep your greaves on. <laughs> You messed with your head too, huh? All I know is we were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. Your journal has been updated. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. I should keep an eye out for weapons and armor to equip myself with too. Likely some of my items are hidden somewhere in this complex. I don't think I want to remember it all. You know, see, this is what I like. Uh, you know, this is just enough voice acting, you know, kind of sets the tone. You hear the voice. You can sort of um, hear it in your head as you're reading this. Uh, we don't need these long, drawn-out dialogues and like fifty thousand options. You know, get the guy, you know, get the player up and running, get him, get him into the game quick. All right, I'm moving. I ain't all over though. <laughs> Could you give me the long version of our history? It's like we just met. <laughs> yeah, me too. But my head hurts the most. Oh no! I'm not letting a little headache get in my way. It isn't like a normal pain, Matt. It's on the inside, like my bones made a little dagger. And it won't go away. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, all right? Must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins came after our captor, I think. I don't know, it's just like a you know, typical morning after a night of ale. Uh, should I leave without you? <clears throat> or do I leave without you? Oh, come on. Right you are. Let's go. You seem awfully quick to abandon. You know, she does! Stop being like that. I know it's just because you messed with your head, but that excuse only goes so far. Come on, I'll drag you out of here if I have to. Just so long as we get out. I can't go through anymore. You should look in that room to the west first. West and just a bit north. West just a bit. Yeah, okay. I think I saw some weapons in there. The other west... I don't think it's our gear. They probably sold our best stuff, but anything is better than nothing. It's not like we want you bringing all your <laughs> in-game gear from the first one into this one. Let's see. Don't feel my mind. My mind aches. All right. Let's see if Matt can remember how to do anything. I think it's to go off there. What's the key that shows you the stuff you can? There we go, it's tab. Okay, so if you hold down tab, you can see the stuff you can interact with. <clears throat> I think is an I for the bags, yes. So I've got a whole lot of nothing, and Imuin has a whole... Why does she look like a statue? <laughs> you look very pale, Imuin. Oh, she's a mage thief. Oh, that's... I, for some reason I was thinking she was a, a just a straight-up thief, or maybe a... 
fighter thief, but she's a mage thief. That's okay. We can focus on the mage stuff. Sad you should not have that. Uh, let's see. Minsk and Jahira. Oh, Minsk. Minsk. Fine. <sighs> Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. You know, Winnie the Pooh, folks. Winnie the Pooh. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. God, I love Minsk. Minsk. Your mighty warrior spirit must find these bars unbearable. Time is short for talking. That is small. Release me. I will rain beatings down on all who have dared touch me and Dinah hair. She will be avenged. Let's see. There's another one trapped here. Now we should not ask that. She is dead, and I'm a failure as her guard. I will exact penance from each and every wicked soul that dared lay a finger on. They killed her as I watched. So that's a little darker. You know, they're not going for, like, just comical tone here. Definitely not. Minsk, that is horrible. They want to be somewhat grim, even with Minsk. Which is, I think, what makes this game so good. They don't, you know, if you read some of the comics I was looking at, you know, Minsk comes across just kind of a goofball. It's like he's just played for comic relief. You know, he's got this sort of haughty spirit, but I think in this game you also see the other side of him. Like, you can see that he's really bothered by this, but he's just trying to cover up with his bravado. Okay, uh, quit talking, Minsk. Uh, this is, I'm not leaving him here. A hero always succeeds, and a hero never stops short of his goal. Good words to live by. <laughs> but he also needs the key. Why am I having this much dialogue? Just pick the, pick the lock. And blah, blah, I've had enough. I'm leaving you here. <laughs> you won't help. Buchan... What? Roar! The bars. They bend and twist with my berserker strength. Minsk and Boo are free. No, you will not. No. Oh, I see what they did there. We had to get him mad enough to break out. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, join with me. Oh, jeez. You gotta watch these options. Some of these are like real a-hole dialogue options. Let's see. Fistfuls of sweet, sweet justice, and our enemies will be stains beneath our feet. <clears throat> yeah, I was just reading about King Tut's tomb, the stuff they found in there, and apparently it was fairly common practice for leaders, uh, rulers, to have uh, special sandals with the faces of their enemies on the, you know, on the sole, so that you'd literally be walking on them all the time, causing them pain. I think I might do that. I might get a special pair of boots with the. Uh, <laughs> my various enemies. I don't. I need some enemies. I don't think I've really pissed enough people off to, to have uh, proper footwear. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Minsk. Oh, I still see you have that rodent. <laughs> Are you talking to a hamster? But don't you know Minsk and Boo? Come on. Carry nature's favor with me where I go. You know, I kind of feel like I'm, miss, I'm missing out by not having a little pet mouse. I like Minsk. I call him Boo. Miniature giant space hamster. <laughs> he sure is a cute little fuzzy wuzzy. Boo is the best purchase I ever made, and despite my head wound, I would I could tell that his previous owner was good and honest. Who is an asset to us all? Jeez, how many times do I have to say, get in the party? Wow, 3,000 XP just for that. Okay, then we got another little... Quickly, we must get out of here before Shira. whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. Uh, let's see, I think she's a druid. Okay, do we want to go through all the dialogue or just get her? 
You can't make demands of me. You know, I never did really like her. She's kind of bossy. I don't know why I'm here. Perhaps you were to blame. Okay, I guess we have to get her thoughts. I guess Khalid will not be joining us. I'd rather be, we further the investigation at the time. Hey, I don't want to hear it. We're good. Let's just go. Yeah, Khalid, her husband. I traveled with you for some seasons now in the places we have seen. Hey. Yeah, your unique heritage, bring the magnet. We remain in your company as friends more than guardians. We've earned many enemies, we've smashed them all. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I have no time for one as long winded as you are. <laughs> Let's see, we know that. Da -da -da. Gotta be careful not to offend her by saying bad things about Khalid. You have sufficient strength, it may be possible the case may be broken. We'll find the key somewhere. Okay, culprit must be here so soon. Okay, I think we're done with the talking. Where are we? What just happened. So it's just Q for quick save. That's easy to remember. Now let's see. I could try to pick the lock. I am a thief. Let's see, how do I do that? Oh, come on. Yes. There we go. So I think it's... There we go. Thieving. It will be done. Does not have a conventional... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. How do I get this bigger? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there's some way to... There we go. Yeah, the op mechanism does not have a conventional lock. It may be warded against simple spells. Right, let's see, can I open up anything? Yeah, but there's nothing. I'm opening it, but there's, there's something in that one. Can't touch it. Okay, I need probably should bring the whole party with me, and I think. What is your will? Yeah, you have to keep clicking on this, and there might be a key you can sign to make it what? select everybody. Very Ooh. well. Already detected a trap. You know, I think I'm going to have to turn this voice actor off. <laughs> I don't want to hear that every click. Okay, there's some weapons. Good. Let's see. I think that's a short sword. Mace. And there's the key. No, oh, it should be a dagger. I don't see any daggers. Okay, well, we can use this mace for now. No, we do it this way. Yep, there we go. Mace and a dagger. Nice. Uh, let's see. He's a ranger. Where does it say his weapons? <clears throat> Skills. Uh, abilities, maybe. To hit. Uh, Two-handed sword, mace, and longbow. Two weapon style. So he's also wants well, two weapons. So we could either go. Huh, that's kind of weird. So he's got two points and two handed sword, but his fighting style is two weapon style, which I think this is the one. I guess just, let me double check this to make sure, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two. So that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he should have the two handed weapon style. Oh, well, I guess you could tweak that. If you wanted to, with an editor of some sort. But let's just go ahead and give him a... No, there's two maces in there. You point <clears throat> where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Da, 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 da. I'm going to pick up that quarter staff. Well, there was only one mace. We might have to go with the two-handed sword for now for him. And then let's see what her weapons are. Short sword, dagger, quarterstaff, short bow, and dart. You know, I always give her the short sword and a short bow. Yep, gotcha. Get out of the way. Don't my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. She can't use a lot of these weapons. 
What is that one? Katana. <laughs> Here's the katana. <laughs> Probably the only one you'll ever find in the game. Well, we're just not going to be able to optimize this. I guess that's better than no weapon. Could give her the quarter staff. Uh, let me check this one more time. Short sword, dagger, quarter staff, short bow. Hmm. So I guess I should probably give her the quarter staff. Because at least she's got some proficiency with that. <clears throat> Alright. Quick say, let's see about mm. this trap here. Indeed. 1750 XP for that. Ooh, ooh, is that a magic dagger? A dagger plus one, maybe. <laughs> the typical dagger has a pointed, usually double-edged blade as opposed to a knife. Which has a single edge and is a bit shorter. That's not a knife. This dagger is magical, improving speed, accuracy, and damage. Oh, yes. <laughs> she can't even use a mace. Ah. Well, hmm. Do I want to go mace and dagger? Probably would make a little more sense to have two different types of damage going, but... Oh jeez, I'm, I'm getting I'm already getting hung up in the weeds. Sorry, let me just Okay. He's good with a mace and a two handed sword. So really you could give him two maces, I guess would be the ideal. That is not ideal for me though, but Okay. Let's stick with this. Speak. Uh, no. There's a there's a chest. Oh, here's the armor. Okay. Helmet. Studded leather armor. Let me see if I can pick it all up and distribute it. Okay, I think the helmet... What does this do for you? Protects against critical hits. Yeah, see, I love the style. This is great looking. Just like those AD&D books. Studded leather armor. I'm uh, not sure what, how this is going to affect my thief thieving abilities if I put on something heavier. Uh, da -da. Splint mill, armor class 4, this is armor class 5. So the higher armor class is not what you want. Since I have a high dex score, why do I already have negative 4? I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's just see, we can compare some of these armors. So it gives me an armor class of 5 versus armor class of 4. Or armor class 7. Then you get some various added bonuses. I think I might go with chain. Give uh, Minsk the, the splint. Let's see if Emmowen can wear the, you know, she can wear that studded leather. Still have a little bit of leftover stuff. What is that? Shield buckler. Well, he doesn't have short and shield style, so that's not going to be ideal. Okay. <clears throat> I could always sell it later, maybe. Alright, should be able to get her out with that key. Your servant awaits. We'll leave immediately and celebrate when we are out of this hole. There are other friends we must find as well. There we go. Three th I'm going to level up before we can get out of this place. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. She's got short sword and shield stuff, so really she should probably be the tank, right? 15 strength. Got a good dex, too. Good con. Charisma good? Oh, good. Very good character. What do we want to do with their weapons? Uh, give her... <clears throat> Could either. I don't think we found a club. 
Everything but what we found. <laughs> I mean, of course. <laughs> scimitar. I don't think there was a scimitar. Anyway, she can use that shield. And I guess I don't want to give her leather armor. She's going to be our tank. Ooh, it's a tough choice. I guess I'll give her the... I guess I'll give myself the studded leather for now. Give her the chain. Stick her in the front. How do I... Here's some, oh, maybe I can't do it from the screen. Uh, but she needs a weapon. What am I... Oh, none of these weapons are going to be... Yeah, she can't even use that. Oh, and then... Ah! Okay, I'm going to have to give him the two-handed sword for now. Oh, she can't even use the mace! <laughs> Why are they trying to frustrate me? Well, okay. I give uh, her the short sword. Give her the... Oh, she can't use that with the, the shield, though. There is just no way to do this ID. There's going to have to be some compromises. Okay, let's just do it this way. So I need to be on the lookout for some more appropriate weapons for her. I think it was a club. We need to find her a club. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I can zoom. <laughs> Do I need to do that right now? There's another room down here. I always like to explore all the rooms that don't have a door first. Well, that doesn't look very healthy. As I have said before, you could not have made a better choice. <laughs> she, you have to make her the leader. Name it. Let's see what kind of a spell she's got. Armor. That'd be a good spell to use. Lasts for nine hours. Identify is always a good one. Chromatic orb. I never got handy with this orb. <clears throat> 90 feet, one creature. Let's see, how do I cast that? How do I cast? Ready and willing. Here we go, give her the... Oh, well, she's got more than that. This oh, place haste. is just too darn creepy. Summon I really monster. Where's... Oh, 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 oh. Where's the... Minsk and Boo uh -huh. stand ready. <laughs> I thought she had mage armor. I'm not seeing it here. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't have it memorized. Mark skin. When you get closer to combat, you should probably cast some prep yes, spells. It is done. We're probably gonna be fighting here pretty soon. Here we go, there's our first little battle. A lightning method. So you just pause. Attack. See what people are using for weapons. This will probably be pretty easy, so let's just let them fight. Hopefully. Oh, that's not very nice. They almost fail. What's going on? Is it just infinitely spawned? You know, if we don't get any XP, it probably means it's just going to keep spawning forever. Oh, we got XP. <laughs> so we can just stay here till we level up. Can we die? The machine buzzes with energy. Oh, so every time that thing sparks, it makes a new method. And we're definitely gonna die if we don't figure this out. Looks like I can do something over here. So I don't fight that one. Oh, I don't like that lightning. Are these guys getting tougher every time? Get over here and touch this thing. Okay, right, closer are. then. This is a switch of some time. Whoop! Do the switch! 
Why isn't she switching? Clicking to switch again, but oh, so she didn't switch. It wouldn't be wise to switch it back on. Well, I don't know. That's getting pretty good XP. Okay, we're not damaged enough to worry me too bad. Probably want to rest up a little bit. So there's a teleport portal. There's an old room. Might have been in there already. Oh, that's the way to go on this. Okay. Yeah, let's explore this little area. Ah, oh, man, such great atmosphere in this game, even at this very first level. Look away and the tendrils recede. The pool is calm. <laughs> Minsk, welcome. You have escaped later than I had hoped. I am in... I am Ataka. Oh, I see... Oh, I see who I must talk to. No offense, Minsk, but I am curious how Matt will react to me. Matt, I have questions. Be not afraid. You have my welcome to my little piece of this place. I do so try to keep it more appealing than the rest. What is going on here? My name is well known amongst those who watch. Your life's threat is bright indeed. Though in your path lies many a dark and frayed end. As to easing your mind and answering such questions as those that surely plague you, it is not my place to do so. I am sorry. The Jin. Well, what are we supposed to do? Are you prepared to answer a question? Fine. Here's my hypothetical question. You and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. The mage responsible appears and speaks. He explains his sadistic game. In each cell, there is a magical button. If you press your button and your sibling does not, you will die but yourself. <laughs> this sounds familiar. I think I know where they got this idea. The Prisoner's Dilemma. Okay, I want to sit in that. Minsk. Tell me, Matt, do you press the button? So I think the right answer is... Uh, or nobody should press the button, right? But you don't know if the, your brother, in my case, might press the button. <laughs> I just have to press it. Truly, I thought you'd be a coward until this day. Mingle with your brother. I had not thought you'd be a coward. I shall test your metal. Oh, I guess I didn't like that answer. What, so he healed me first? Well, that was nice of him. Yeah, let's see if... Go ahead and cast some spells. Rainy. Let's go ahead and summon some monsters and let's get your bark skin on. Every hamster has his day. And I think he can rage. Yeah, berserk. Charm animal. Wait, wait a minute. Let me make sure he got the charm. Sharpen and okay, so that, to go. What is this? Charm animal? Berserk. Two turns engaged, gets plus two bonus to his strength and dex. Well, that'd probably be pretty good to cast now. Give me a task. And I got some abilities here too, looks like. This must be his mind because I'm a you know, child of murder. Oh, vampiric touch. Eh. Well, let's just see if I can do this. Get back here! I don't want my group to get all spread out. Remember the positive of crystals. One down. Ah! Go! I can start filling my inventory with battle axes, but we'll. We'll wait. I'm terrible. I'm, I have a very hard time just walking past loot. I want everything. 
Ghibli, Ghibli. Who says? What? Oh, spells. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, yes. Uh, yes. What is happening? You have come through after all, Emoen. Here then is the advice that I offer. Seek out Rilith. He has been waiting for one such as you. Offer him the release that he craves, and you shall find that the focus of your journey should soon become apparent. Here! I don't want Emoen releasing I'm anybody. <laughs> okay. Okay, where did this. Oh, that's the guy I summoned. Excellent. I always like looking at these little descriptions. Extraordinary. Ah. We can see some stuff in that pool. Yeah, yeah I'm to see where we're going. Alright, so I guess we're still good. I don't really see any reason to pick up that act. What is she doing? Oh, the AI! So it's automatically casting spells for me. I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep that on for long. You probably don't want the AI handling your spells. We might actually use them. Oh, there's a soft bow. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy out and we'll look and see what we have to do to him. Do the quick save. Oh, yeah, that's another problem. The spell is going like this. You can't save. It's like the rage war. Huh? Right, I guess as long as we're waiting for that, go ahead and get these weapons assigned. What is this one? Is that a short bow? Yeah, perfect. I'll get that nimble in. Some arrows. I have a necklace. What is this? A gem. Oh. Yeah, let her go ahead and use that short bow. And protection from evil. Stick that in the spell book. Friends. I don't think I've ever used that. Where'd you get this belt? Emma one does not know when or how she acquired this belt. And despite all her efforts of magic, it cannot be removed or unbuckled. Curious. Must be a, is it a chastity belt. <laughs> Make a certain amount of sense. This auto loot thing, that's, that's cool. Oh, yeah, let's get that AI turned off immediately. Party AI on. Now, I think what I want to do is there's a somewhere here. I see customize maybe. Script, yeah. So, advanced AI. Use special abilities, use items. Sing a bard song. So attacking enemies is fine. Prefer melee, prefer ranged. Use offensive spells. So you probably want to turn these off. Use special abilities. Yeah, turn that off. Um, who else? I guess everybody's using those things. It's use special. I'm just going to turn. You know, fine traps can stay on. Hide in shadows. The character will hide in shadows when idle. That might be useful, but I, as I recall, it slows you down. Uh, let's see. Emowyn, customize AI. Prefer, yeah, for ranged weapons, good. Let's turn all that stuff off. She doesn't need to... F I guess it doesn't hurt to have two people finding traps. And then Mr. Minsk. No, no, no. Don't use anything unless I tell you to. Because I want to micromanage you. 
like when a tabletop game, you have somebody that's playing a character, and you're like, you shouldn't be that, don't use that ability, don't do the rage first thing in the morning, save it. There's another method. A missed method. She's using her bow, good. She get beat up. What's that little thing made? She must have the she must have cast a spell on herself for strength. Okay. I might Speak actually need mind. to heal her up a little bit. Yeah, I heard that a couple million times in my life. The words right. Nature's servant awaits if it will help. Uh, there's some arrows, another. You know, I don't remember if it's useful for everybody to have bows. What is your will? Uh, you don't really have a whole lot of weapon slots. I just hold on to it for the time being. I await your need. What if you insist? Yes, I thought as much. There's another. Oh, it's ice method. Ready and willing. Let's go ahead and get a little fancy with the spell. Lightning bolt. You gotta be careful how you line that up. Probably not the mm -hmm. best spell for a. You point. I punch. A game like this. I am ready. Let's call lightning. This, this, this has to be. It has to be cast outside. Hold animal. Normal and giant sized animals. They might be worth casting. I'll try it out. Let's see if it works. No. Oh. Didn't say what happened, but it's not held. But it's held now. <laughs> held in death. Oh no. No, 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 it went red. Do not open it! Speak. Simple enough. And I love that you get a thousand, almost two thousand XP just for that. And another 400. Oh, there's a quarter staff plus one! So again, do I want to not have the... God, I hate the way they did this. So she's only got one point of proficiency on a quarter staff, and then she's got sword and shield style. So obviously the best thing would be a club and a shield. But they're just not going to make it easy for you. So we could either give her the quarter staff and miss out on the shield. Uh, the other perk. <sighs> I think she's got it. Yes, I don't want her using that staff though, unless it's an emergency. It's about time. It Hopefully, I'll find a club here somewhere. This tube is unpowered, and the creature within is dead. This is a creepy place. The creature within this tube seems to be alive, albeit barely. The cells of the power of the tube are lifeless. You'll need to find new power cells to revive the creature. So I need to be on the lookout for some power cells. Okay, is there any way I can get rid of this? Let's take another lot of my screen. Okay, same thing. In the murky depths of this machine, you see the lifeless remains of a strange creature consisting of a central orb and numerous ice stalks. You know, I would love to have a basement I, with this kind of stuff in it. I know this room. <laughs> it's just giant here. capsules filled with water and strange he, organs. There are things in these tanks. They used to be people. Maybe not things that used to be people. I might draw the line there. That'd be a little bit creepy, I think. You know, you know, I'd feel a little bit questionable going into somebody's basement if they had 
tanks filled with things that used to be people. That, that captures as easy as pie, kills whoever he wants. That could have been us in those glass things. <laughs> Cut your whining. Yeah. We'll make it pay. I want to know what he did to me. Man, I don't care if he made us... Make us... I don't care if he could make us three ogres strong. I have to get out of this place. Gotta get out of this place. If it's the last thing I ever do. Zoom out. I want to find a power cell, though. It's, oh, 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 oh. Back, back, back. Let's back out of there. Choose the battlefield. I wonder if I get a backstab option. Give me a task. Mm. Sure how it, quite how it works. Let's see if I get any uh, messages about backstabbing. Eight piercing damage. I'm not sure if it would tell me if I'm back backstabbing. Oops, in combat. What else is there? Am I still fighting? Speak your mind. I am willing. Quick save. <laughs> My hand is always on that cue. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Long boo. Looks like a, yeah, flame arrow. That'd be a good spell for one. There you go. It's a good one. Good one for this game because you don't have to worry about aiming. In an area. Nature could find a home here. I'm gonna have to redo her spells so we get to a good, good stopping point. Ah, there's some good, good stuff. Have it all. I think I even saw a scimitar. <laughs> now she, okay, yeah, she could use that. Oh, what else did I get? No clubs. But that scimitar. What's this? A long sword. Uh, dagger. I think I should be able to identify these things. War hammer. She can't use a medium shield. What's she got now? Small shield. I'm a class plus one. What's the difference? So the small armor class plus one. No protection against missiles. So I think the medium shield is better. Okay. She can't use that longbow, but I think Minsk can. Yeah, he's a ranger, so I feel like he should have a backup. Ranger should have a bow, right? I mean, that's just... It just feels right to me. Okay, and then we've got... Oh, come on, I can't identify that. There we go, longsword plus one. See what I mean? You always find long swords. We got a magic dagger. Yeah. I guess I have to use my spell. Scroll or spell? Spell. Hmm. Plus two, the grave binder. I've got binders full of binders. Discovered relatively recently by Adventures in the South. I love these backstories too. So the abilities of this weapon went unknown for several years. Magical tomes eventually revealed its extensive history as an assassin's tool. What does it do? So we get a plus two to Thacko, plus two to damage. Speed factor zero. Oh god, what is that? It's complicated with that speed factor business. I'd have to do some research to remember what the hell that's all about. Okay, let's give that my main, and that's my backup weapon. Okay, short sword. Uh, who would benefit the most from that? She's got a proficiency in short sword. He doesn't. Yeah, he he's good with the longbow. You know, I might actually want to just let him be a ranged attacker. If I can't find some maces for him. OK, 
Okay, back to the weapons. So we've got a... Got a short sword here. A long sword plus one. Yeah, let's just leave it for now. Yes. Locked. Yes. Fine. Fine. Ooh, I like this. You know, I think scimitars just look so awesome. Oh, what does she got? Ah, uh, dispel magic. Yeah. What does she got? Okay, she's got a. That's just a regular scimitar, right? Yeah. What else was that? A, was that a spear? Yeah, good old spear. That only does 1d6 points of damage, really. You tell me if you had that thing stuck in you, it would only do 6 points of damage. Ooh, golems are everywhere. Lesser clay golem. The golem stares straight ahead. It does not appear to see or hear you. You suspect that golem is inactive. Whoa! Back! Oh, they saw me. This might be a good chance to use one of these abilities. Let's try and tangle. Now, you could cast it on the creature, but again, probably don't want to do that because it moves and make a big mess. See, the problem is your, your characters can get entangled just as easily as the monster. See? <laughs> Uh, I guess we should switch him to a bow. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's good. I might leave him with that bow. As long as I have plenty of ammo, that might actually be better than... The... At least a good option for now. Do a lot of kills with the ranged all right, weapon. All right. And now i got to wait for that. Like, I want a quick save! I need to quick save! I, I can't. Yeah, his stack over this is, let's see, 14. So I guess 11 with that bow, and I'll switch to the. Well, that's 11 with that too, I guess. Does that even change? Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'll just let him use the bow. That's a good Thacko. He'll probably get most of his kills with that, and he won't, won't be so much crowding around. Reckless. Oh, there's the guy I was supposed to be looking for. By the gods, what happened to you, man? I'm dying or dead. Remember not which. Where's the master? Who is the master? Who are you? I have no time to speak with pickled men today. Let's just try who are you? Uh, who is the master? He is my he was my friend, I think. Cast out one of us no longer. I cannot remember. Are you to take my place? Uh, tell me, friend, how do we leave this place? How to escape? Prison is be! Truly I have been dead, but not dead too long. I seek release. Oh, I mean, that's, that's right, we're supposed to everyone's supposed to be talking to him. What release can we see? Yes, yes, Master, I, I no longer wish to come back. So, I can I give help? Take them. The unit that contains me is powered by cells by crystals. Take them and I can sleep. <clears throat> I know you're. Cool. Hmm. Take these cells to revive them and learn what you can. Yes. Sweet. I can't look away, Matt. Yes, this is tragic. 
<laughs> Yet another corpse in my wake. Yeah, I think it's probably better not to live, to live like that. Death is pretty. Why would I think that? Oh man, I gotta get out of this. Place. Yeah, you know when a girl starts talking about death being pretty. You probably want to get her out of it. <laughs> oh, there's a slang. Got me a slang. You know, as a hobbit. Oops. Halfling. I don't think it's a bad idea to have a sling. Just a little backup. You know, I've often said, you know, throughout history, more people have probably been killed by a rock than anything else. Okay, so we got the battery cell. Silly ass, there we go. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Now we can go back to that room. I think it was here. And it said we could, uh, power these cells back up. So let's try that out. Ah, you infinity engine, you. Oh, how I've missed you. <laughs> Half this game is like, why the hell is that character way down there? Would find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. Ah, tortured one. Ah, so long have I lain. Behind this prison of glass do I weep and rage. How long have you been in that bottle? Master, master, why hast thou forsaken me? Why hast thou left me in this bottle to wither? If I could climb out of this bottle... I got David Allen Coe song? Now, nobody knows what the hell I'm talking about now, but there is a song like that. It's pretty touching. Uh, why have you left me in the bottle? Why is this master... Who is this master? Have I simply slipped from my thy thoughts? Master, please hear me. This master has left you in prison in a bottle. So genies and bottles and... Tortured. Somebody's watching a little too much Dream of Genie. With the side of H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> Any poor creature can do nothing for you. This is no boon, Master. Please do not leave me. I would hate being forgotten in a bottle. It might depend somewhat on the type of bottle. True. But overall, I expect the effect would be similar. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> Why, Master, I long only to hear thy words once more. Yeah, I think we sh I think Mens could be happier trapped in a terrarium with a little wheel inside for exercise. I am ready as I would have done. Wait, did I not get XP for that? Ah. I don't want to do anything without the sweet XP. Another tortured one. You. So, okay, so the Cyrenicus been trapping people in these glass domes. Yeah, I've actually got a set of these little domes, little ones. So if you want to be in my basement, I have to find a way to shrink you first. I could probably make it happen, though. So no master of yours. How is it that you have been in prison, so... It is burning me. My skin is afire with the crawling of ants. Oh, that is painful. Man, I remember one of my friends one time where we got in trouble. <laughs> the teacher was like, you know, coach or whoever was principal, was telling us, you know, trying to scare some Jesus into us. But I looked over and the guy, my friend, uh, he, one of his feet uh, was in a fire ant bed. His ants were just coming up his leg. And he didn't, he, I don't know if he didn't notice, he was too scared to, to do anything. But I was like, oh my God, look, I... Get, get out of those ants. He just went running all around, swatting at these ants, and it's pretty hilarious. Uh, I don't think we got in any more trouble, though. That was a good ending to that story, but he... Well, those things hurt! What is burning you? Who is that genie? Please, master the ants. Does your jinn have nothing of yours that may aid me? Where can I find this statue? 
Wait, I will take the statue and speak to him myself if you will but let me. So we kind of have to read between the babble. Please give me the statue, master. Enough of your insane babble. Let's see. Maybe we can find a little statue and come back here and get some sweet XP. I think that's... Oh, there's one more, it looks like. Master, you must... Prisoner will break soon. Oh, this is a torturer. I have not had the golem open the cells. He has no key. I beg your forgiveness, Master, but did you not leave the cell key at the table in the jailer's room? I think we've already got that key in question. That was for those dummies that don't search everything. Done here? Is there have we done them all? I did not mean to go into the mistress's room. Mistress. Not trying to steal anything of the mistresses. You do not hear me, do you? Huh. Mistress's room. Got some clues there. Teleport portal, prison cells. Uh, where have we not explored? Um, let me see. I got this. How do we. I think the golems have to have a. He said a statue. We're looking for a little statue somewhere. I don't think I'll be able to do anything with these golems yet. Yeah, okay. So let's see what else. Okay, we've been there. Remember to quick save. Oh, here's some enemies. Where are you? I hear you, but I don't see you. There you are. Man, he's good with that bow. <laughs> what? Does he switch automatically when they're right in front of him? No. What is your will? You know, one thing I'm curious about is whether I'll, I can backstab or sneak attack. I don't. I'm not sure about sneak attack. Every hamster. There's so many different rule sets to keep track of. I just don't know anymore. Of stinking evil. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. Leave no crevice untouched. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Getting plenty of ammo, though. Now, we could be stealthing around. Yeah, maybe I'll try that next little pass of the enemies. Oh, I thought I heard something. What? It will be done. I could try to be sneaky. Well, oh, failed. Okay, I guess that's not Speak your work. my thought as much. Nature servant. Do we have anything else we could throw at these guys? Try doom. I'm just more worried about hitting my own guys with this stuff than anything. Oh, I'm actually getting it's pretty good damage. Yeah, see, I don't you have her cast a spell so she just stands around. My guy is the only other melee character now. That's not right. Oh, what are we... It's pretty serious. I mean, you could easily wipe the party before you even get out of this first area. No question. Oh, this reminds me so much of Candlekeep. Dusty old tomes all over. Bookcases nearly spilling. Yeah, I love it too. Like we never left. I gotta have books. A house without books is just a sad house. You know, I get a Kindle and all that, but I kind of want the real thing. Okay, now the problem is you find a lot of potions, but it's impossible to drink them without hurting inside. <laughs> just, uh, 
I always like, I gotta save that potion for when I really need it. I end up never drinking them. Well, you know, at least I'm finding lots of arrows. That's good. Never have enough arrows. But, you know, I'm gonna have to rest have pretty soon, though. Oops. Oh, what is this? Just books? Yeah, I don't have time to read all that. I like to look at books on the shelf. I don't actually like to open them. They could be very dangerous. You might, might learn something. I like to keep my brain clear of knowledge. Books, 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 books. More books. More books. More books. The gift of knowledge. The real treasure. Ooh, this, oh. History of the North, Part 7. You know, somebody probably worked real hard on, on writing in those books. They never received the recognition they deserved. What is that spell? Larlock's Minor Drain. A little bottle of that to clear the drains. Okay. She's getting full already. Move some of this loot around. I don't even know if I'll be able to sell this stuff. I don't remember if we get to a point where we can leave and sell those things. At which point you'd be like, man, I wish I'd picked up all that stuff. Yes. I'm gonna have to heal myself though. I could probably just rest. I am ready. I've been playing it's tabletop D and D for so long, mm -hmm. God. Or they DMs. Was very well. I feel like most DMs are they don't like the idea of you just resting all the time. <laughs> like you just rested. <laughs> yes, I know, but I want to recover my spell I slots. Yes, but you're not sleepy because you just rested. Ah! Haven't you ever played Baldur's Gate? I get the rest constantly. Well, there's the desk. Isn't there something hidden in the desk? My I might to come back job. there and see. Oh, this is a pretty serious <laughs> method there. Isn't there like a way to search? What is this about? Reveal details. No. Oh, you can just leave that permanently on. That's cool. That Speak. is neat. And is it like a search? Um, am I just making that up, or is there like a Indeed. search? <laughs> Speak your mind. Oh, maybe I'm just making that up. I thought there was a way, like a search mode. Armor, give me a task. And raring to go. Mm, I don't see if it. If you though. insist, I go. Maybe it's just automatic. Yes. Man, why can't I stealth? I, I, would have done. I wonder if it's because I'm in that armor. That's leather armor. That should be fine. It's not wanting to let me stealth. There's a... timber's bad enough without ye bothering me. Let's see. What that I knew where this place was. I've no quarrel with you, Durger. These are like the dark dwarves. What stand in my way shall fall. Under dark. This place is your doom. By the time the master returns, you shall be dead and we shall be rewarded. Adam lads, no mercy. Ooh, this could be a serious fight here. What okay. is your will? Maybe I'll draw up on holy other. Oh, uh, I guess I could try this minor drain. Boo says, what? Love it. Charm animals not going to be very helpful here. Yeah, see, I just hit my own guys with those. Probably not the best tactic. You require nothing more. I am ready. Does she have an ability that might be fun? She could turn into stuff. A bear. 
Yeah, let's have her turn into a bear just to see what see what that's all about. Alright. You're a bear. Man, I am taking a lot of damage. What? Oh, we got spellcasters. Damn. Why is it always my character that suffers? Oh, they interrupted my potion? What are you doing? Take the potion. Oh, that is not good. You must have a... Oh, we got a bunch more. Oh, this is not good at all. Good God, would he quit hitting me? Get back and keep taking potions. I don't know. She. Yeah, I guess you could take a potion while she's in Give bear me mode. A fine. I can tell already. I'm gonna want some better armor. If I have to fight to get out of here, so be it. You must be afraid. Woo! That was tough. Those dwarves had attacked us. I read about them when you were skipping out of lessons back in Candlekeep. Yeah, the Durgar. Durgar. Kind of evil, I guess. <laughs> you think? Yeah, quite a lot of setup. And the knives. He has lots of knives. Yes, we get it. This guy is not a good doobie. Wait, what happened to my loot auto loot thing? Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. What do you want? Uh, what happened to the loot thing? Uh, somehow I turned it off, I guess. No problem at all. Okay. Yes. It will be done. That's annoying. What happened to this? Oh, boy. Hmm. Somehow I must have toggled it. Uh, must be a button. Let's go back into the settings. Okay. Uh, Gameplay, story mode, don't melee after depleting one ammo stack. <laughs> Some nice little fixes there. Let's see, keys, actions. One of these must turn on the miscellaneous interface. That, uh, quick loop. Oh, it doesn't have a key assigned to it? Yeah, let's try that bracket. There we go. Okay, got some magic armor. What the hell is that? Acorns. Acorns, you say? Yeah. I don't like that it tries to automatically switch you. Alright, got some magic chain mill there. That's going to be handy. Eh, I'll use the scroll. Mail of the Dead plus two. Hmm. Well, I guess I can put that on me. Yeah, that definitely helped with the armor class. And she's got chain mail. That's probably better than studded leather. But you know, since Minsk is going to be using a bow, let me just make sure I got the best possible armor on her now. So her armor class is. What? What? Six. So with that on, seven. So that's. Wait, seven. So it doesn't make any difference? Splint mail. Four with some piercing missile. Five. Right, I'm confused. Three. Alright, so that's better. It's got some trade-offs, but I think it's probably the best option. <clears throat> some, oh, there's a crossbow. Hmm. I always like crossbows. Yes. I thought as much. You know, let's risk trying to rest. Got a hand 
it to you. You sure have some kind of courage to sleep in this place. I would have run screaming a dozen times over if you weren't I here. Take the chance. I think uh, that's your preference. I prefer to lead. Speaking of which, we should get going. Yes. Upgrade power. Tap the power. Never access whatever avatar stuff. We gotta get away from one's death. Our host has proven his evil intent. She's very chatty, isn't she? Take what is your. Oh, you don't automatically heal. It is about time. Wait, did I not actually rest? Oh, I said I rested for eight hours. Speak your mind, nature servant. I guess you don't automatically heal. I That's a bummer. Your need. She's still in bear mode. Okay. I guess I'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Yes. What? I am ready. Boom, boom, boom. Man. Ready and willing. I haven't leveled up yet. I have to remember. You gotta swap your spells out. There's another helmet, some more chainmail, a two handed sword, grease. Mm -hmm. Throwing axes. Yeah, she can't seem to carry very much. I, I thought she could, had a high strength. I'll give her a helmet. Alright, chainmail. Hmm. Mail of the dead. Wait, I took off all his armor. <laughs> well, that wasn't good. Okay, I think that's... This might be his... Wait, she doesn't have any armor either. Okay, that's... Something's weird. Your wizard spells have been disabled. Oh, no! Oh, that's a bummer. So she can't wear armor. If she puts on any armor and it disables her spells. But I think she's got, yeah, armor as a spell. That should help a little bit. Last quite a long time. I'm still kind of banged up. I await your need. It is done. And some daggers and darts. There's another helmet. What is this? A flail. And another scimitar. I guess it kind of makes sense. You got genies running around. Uh, another helmet for Minsk. Still doing pretty good on arrows. And move these rocks over. Okay. What else? Did I look at this table already? No. Oh, finally a club. <laughs> oh, finally the club. And what is this? Morning Star. Everything but the mace. This club ought to be nice. So that'll give her a little bit better Thacko. I guess we can get rid of these. Uh, I'll go ahead and dump some of the stuff. I hate to do that, but so I got a medium shield. I need to be on the lookout, I think, for a large shield. Yeah, just dump all the non-magical stuff. I'll hold on to that two-handed sword though. She's better with that 
quarter staff because it's got a little bit of magic on it. Okay. Okay, so I just need to be on the lookout for a large shield. I don't think there was one over here. Was that a. What do we have? This a throwing axe. What is this? Medium shield. Okay. Okay, let's party on. Ooh, mm. can I? Very well. Oh, I guess I can't use my. Yeah, look at that. So he can't wear that mail. Cover your nose, boo. Or he we could, but he'll no lose some abilities. Untouched. Well, probably won't work with that either. Give me a task. Nope. So he will have to have the studded leather. If I want to use his thieving abilities. That's kind of a downer. <laughs> Means he's going to be taking a lot of punishment until I get some really good leather armor. <clears throat> Yes, indeed. And he can't. They won't see me coming. Thor has an ob shaped recess in it. It looks like a statuette yes. to fit in. I am willing. I mean, that's the trade offs you make. You could uh, just manually. <gasps> what the hell was that? He didn't detect a trap. Ah, oh, we're reloading that. <laughs> Sorry. It is done. No, no, no. We can't yes. have that. Fine. We should detect a trap at least. Yes. There we go. What is your will? It will be done. Nature's servant awaits. So you am... could take the damage instead of reloading, but then you would. Uh... Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's cool. Whoa, that's not cool. <laughs> Can be on. Okay, I need to get. Probably won't be able to hold him. What? What you want? That shield of his might be hard to get through. Stone skin. We could try to try this chromatic orb on him. You point who? I to do a whole lot of nothing. Name. That might be a globe of invulnerability. Against the monsters there to help convert some yeah, give us some additional targets. See that. Oh, do I have to fool with this thing to make it work? Too far away. Okay, get over here, use it. Pushing on the lever of the machine seems to excite the demon that stands in the circle. The magic barrier that surrounds it weakens visibly. We gotta do it again. There we go. Now I can damage him. Something Must be hard to hit. Let's go ahead and hit him with a magic missile. Swords, not words. Just attack. That's okay. <laughs> Very well. I don't know if this. He's behind him, but. This guy must have a really good armor class. Ooh, that's a good battle. And now he's down. Excellent. Ooh, looks like he had a magical sword on him. Bastard sword. Master Sword plus one. You always find everything but what you really need, you know? Okay, what else was that? Some armor, I think. Chain mail. Pretty sure I can't use chain mail with my thieving abilities either. Speak. Now. That is gonna suck. I am ready. I go. 
What is this thing on the ground? Looks like a symbol. I wonder if I stand on these things. As I would have done. Give me a task, indeed. It's kind of playing around. Speak your mind. All right. Guess there's nothing more to see there. No way out. Okay, so we need to finish exploring this little nook here. Man, time flies. How long have we been playing already? You know, one good thing about this, it gives you a chance to make sure you didn't miss any loot. I'm always looking around to see if there's a big hole somewhere in my map that might indicate a little secret area. Wait, have I been down this little passage? Yes. Okay, well, where else have I not explored? Here. Well, it's probably locked that way, too. Well, that'll be some way. I haven't found a little statue. Might be time to go see if I can get in there. I got that teleporter. Otherwise, I think I've explored everything I can get to. Now let's try this golem room, see if we got whatever needs to happen there. Man, all this, we're still in the same, we're in the starting zone. Still so much to explore. I think we already got our five bucks worth out of this game. We must not escape, the master does not will it. Well, a golem. Okay. Who is the master? Not permitted to speak. Master wants me to be free. You are a mindless golem. You must return to your cell. I will not return to that cage. I am not bound to stop you. The guardian will stop you from leaving. The guardian will keep you from the master's chambers. Okay, so not all that useful. Wow, he really is letting us in here. I do not like this lightning. That's good. You gotta give them credit, though. They're not making it this this level very easy. Just because it's the starting zone does not mean you're gonna get out of here alive. Yes, if you insist. Okay. Your servant awaits. They expect me to have to think. Alright, so there, whatever that is, I'm going to have to, must be the teleporter I need to use. So I've definitely searched everything in here, right? Just to double check. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything. So the only thing left is this teleporter. I hope this isn't the way out of the dungeon because I want to fully explore this area. Too far away to use it. I awake as you would have it. Yes. Requires a key of some sort. All right, so we are still missing something. Well, we can look around. What did I miss? Must be an area somewhere. There were some golems in here. I'm gonna talk to that guy. That just makes a loop. There's a door, but I don't think 
I needed the statue. Ah, let's do We will figure this out. <clears throat> I have been any looked up in there, right? Yeah, these golems, I wonder what we're supposed to do with them. What are they? Why are they in this room? It's kind of weird. Hmm. I might need to consult my journal. I might need to read all these books in here. Anything. It just goes to show, even though I've beaten this game at least twice, if not three times, there's still stuff I don't remember about it, obviously. Okay, just making sure I didn't leave a little statue somewhere. I have searched everywhere, but didn't miss a corpse with a little statue in it. Okay, let's look in the journal. You should keep an eye out for weapons and armor. You be careful. Well, this is all finished. Well. Well. Okay. <clears throat> Unlock it! Just unlock it! What is your will? They look simple enough. What is the point of being a thief if you can't even unlock it? I am it? ready. Alright. <laughs> I would hate to have to consult <laughs> Game Banshee already. It might come down to that. I, you know, you think there would be something in this room. I mean, that was a pretty tough fight. What? I don't think he had any statues on him. No. I can't. You know, I'm wondering if, uh... I need to go back and talk to some of those guys in the bubbles again. Alright, that's locked. Teleport portal, prison cells. I got this whole thing in the middle that I can't get into. Something in here. Yeah, that's just got to be some way in there. I don't know. That, okay, that was nothing. That area. Check that out again. I might need to come back and talk to these guys again. Must have missed something. Hundreds of hours, thousands of hours of good gameplay. I might need to get a little hint. Might come down to that. <laughs> as sad as that would be. I'm going to try talking to these guys in the bubbles again. I will see if I can figure this out. Nope. Definitely nothing to do with there. Okay. Ah, there it is. Activation stone. Okay. Now we are cooking. Maybe used to control the sewage golem. Yeah, let's try it on these uh, golems up here. Right, where did they go? Where were those other golems at? Let's try it on these golems first. And you see, it's very easy to miss a little detail like that. That's why the... You know, if I couldn't find it, I'd have to look at Game Banshee. But this game isn't going to give me the answer. Right, so 
So maybe I can't do anything with him, but I can definitely use it on this so-called sewer golem. Or sewage golem. That's the stinkiest kind of golem. Alrighty, come on. You know, it would be nice if there was a little option here, like if there's no enemies, just to make these guys run at breakneck speed. Now you can cast a haste spell, but that has a... I think that makes them exhausted after it wears off, so really not a good option. <clears throat> All right. Wait, this is the gel keep golem. Ah! Well, where is the sewage golem then? Sewage golem, sewage golem. Where was the sewage golem? On. It is about time. I got the key. Speak your mind. <laughs> I am willing. Okay, where's the sewage golem? Jeez, I should've been paying more attention. All right. Was there another golem somewhere? I don't guess this looks gonna give me any clues. Used to control the sewage golem. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's right. Alright. Quest for the sewage golem. Go back in here. There might be some a bubble. Might be one of these guys. Tortured one. You wanna hear me? Alright, that one's it. it. Is one of these a sewage golem? I think I'm kinda of going the wrong. I think I'm totally going the wrong way with this my thinking. This is Alright, so there's a golem somewhere. <laughs> that much we know, unfortunately. I don't remember where he is. So we just gotta take it room by room. There he is. Oh, okay. Yes, I have your master. If you wish me to open the doors to the pit, begin my duties. I do wish it. You have not activated my functions. Use the stone. All right. Now we are cooking. Unfortunately, where did he go? Oh no, where did he go? Get the golem to open the dungeon doors. Well, there's like three or four unlocked things. Is that one? Hmm, I didn't see what direction he went. Can't save it this time, no. Hope it doesn't give me a real tough battle. It kills me. It looks like he opened that door. Oh, I can't save it though. What the hell is that? Hot jug. Oh, great is... fun! Right? What the? What the? Every jump on my sword. What while is you going on? I won't be as gentle. Oh, this is not good. I think she's even poisoned. Don't think. This is not good. I wonder if that's that's a curse or poison. I'm not sure. 
once. Mm. I seem to be having some trouble with this. Oh, where the hell are going. you going, Matt? What the? Uh, what do you want? Why can't I move anybody? Live by the sword. Oh, this is Live insane. Good, long time. Fight it. Take the life she gave. So I guess he's blocking the. They're blocking the way. I just have to hope I can survive this. I am with vengeance. Yeah, Mark skin would probably have been a useful thing. Wanda Frost Key. Well, I go. What is a wand of frost key? A strange key that feels cold to the touch. Why can't I there we go, save? All right, I definitely need to rest and look at my spell selections. Oh no, no don't open it! Whew. Give me a task. Very well. What's that? Vocalize. Recipient of the spell can cast spells with, with with the verbal component without having to make any noise. It cancels the effects of silence. Only lasts for one turn. It takes two turns to cast it. That's being on specific. Your mind. What do you call that? As situational. I... Very situational. Yes, indeed. Some more splint now. Your servant awaits, if it will help. What is your will? Your if will. you oh. insist. I don't know, bathtub? Ooh, what's the, the helmet? The eyes of truth. And for a vision up to 120 feet. You know, I don't think my halfling has infravision. <laughs> so that might actually be okay. Clairvoyance. The clairvoyance spell empowers the wizard to see in his mind the geographical features and buildings of the region he's currently exploring. Well, that might be useful. I, await your I don't think I've ever used that spell, but I thought as much. Could be a chance to try it out. Okay, let's try to let's go ahead and look at our spells while we're putzing around here. See if we want, might want to make some changes. Uh, yeah, those are decent level one spells. Level two. I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, These are all good spells, but it's just that the, uh, it's kind of hard to do some of this area of effect stuff. Mirror Image is really good to have. And she starts getting attacked anyway. That's one of my favorite spells. I like all these, though. Let's see. Haste. Uh, not the spell. I thought minus two. I thought the haste when it wore off it made your people tired. Maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. Now let's get rid of lightning bolt because there's like no chance to ever use that successfully in this game. Same with fireball. Just too hard to get it right. Remove magic uh, might actually come in quite handy if we run into another monster with a shield or something. I think I'm just going to stick with my good old uh, flame ar flaming arrow. Hard to go wrong with that. Oh, we get all the way up to level 4 spells. So she's got the stone skin. Now, does this require a item? It looks like it's just straight good stuff in this game. That's good. What else she's got? Minor globe of invulnerability. So I guess if somebody was casting spells out of that would be useful, but probably not going to be something you're going to use a whole lot. At least not for me. Okay. Let's see. Armor of Faith. Is this stack with regular armor? 
think so. Bless is a good spell, too. This entangle is useful, but again, so hard to get it to work. And what else she got here? Surely Flame Blade would be a good one. Let's see, Bark Skin lasts for four rounds. Flying Traps, Good Berries, No Alignment, Resist Fire and Cold, Slow Poison. You know, that might be something to think about. Charm, Person, or Mammal. Uh, I could keep that here to play with. So now since Call Lightning has to be cast outside, that's going to do zero good here, so I might get rid of that. And we could pick up Cure Medium, Cure Medium Wounds. Uh, protection from Fire, Invisibility Purge. Oh, this is a lot of good stuff here. I'll go ahead and just... can never have enough curing magic. I... Oh, boy. That's a tough call because this uh, these summoning spells are great too. Yeah, three turns. Okay, I think that is pretty good set. Yes. Wait, does she also have some mage spells? Okay. I am ready. For some reason I was thinking Minsk. You point. He doesn't have any spells, right? As a ranger. The reason I was thinking Rangers had some, maybe he gets them later. As you would have it. All right, let us proceed. Hey, Captain. Minsk and that bow. I can tell I'm gonna like that combo. When he's not just standing. words, not words. Speak your mind. Ooh. I get some magic arrows? Those are great! Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to identify it, Matt. Arrow of Biting! Target must save versus death or lose 30% of its maximum hit points within 20 seconds. Yeah, those are great. I'm gonna give those to Minsk. I don't wanna equip them because he'll use them right away. Just save it, it for that done. special battle. Like this one, <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh, this is like the mistress's headquarters. You suddenly have a sense of imminent danger. Something here is not what it seems. What? Also known as this save the game enough. immediately. I really want out of here. A lot of you juicy traps. What the hell is that thing? Ooh, what's this? Wand of Lightning Key. Alright, got a couple new spells. Alright, Helm of Baldurin. Exact nature of this magic. Ooh, man, look at all this. This is awesome. That is a great helmet. Better give it to my tank here. Wait, is that not as good as what you get? No. It's just a regular helmet. This should be better. Negative. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely an improvement. Nice. Nature servant awaits. Memorize these. Okay, that's just an extra. Burning hands could be useful if you run into any trolls. <laughs> Ooh, another trap. Yay! Ooh, Take cover. What the is most this? frightening thing down here is me. <laughs> the Amplifier. Amulet of Metaspell Influence. The Amplifier, known for its ability to enhance guitar playing. Not really. Uh, the Amulet of Metaspell Influence... Uh, I can memorize one extra second level wizard spell. That is better than you might think. Question is protection or damage? Let's do that. 
There we go. Get the acid I arrow. I go. That was. Ooh, what's this? No, do I go up there? I guess go up here first for a deal with them. Maybe a little extra treasure. Another armor spell, some more bullets. Another fireball. You know, it's always great to hold on to these scrolls because you can, uh, if you don't have anything memorized, and you can't rest, it can come in really handy. All right, I think I will talk to the uh, nymphs down here before I mess with that. I think these are nymphs. Protect me. Yes, help us. Free us. You must excuse me, ladies. <laughs> Slow down. Who are you? What's going on? We are his possessions. His servants. His concubines. Please help us to escape. How can I help you? If you can escape, you must take our acorns to the queen. Tell her of our plight in this creature's lair. Take them to the fairy queen who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hill. We were supposed to instill emotion, but he's barren inside. Uh, we happen to help you. Take these acorns. But he has taken the acorns. Ilya Kismane. I have the acorns. Take these acorns to the Fairy Queen. Not to be confused with the Dairy Queen. We'll take the acorns to the Dairy Queen and get a blizzard. Portals are triggered by a key. He uses her key. Also, may the forest always open so a path beautiful. for you. I used to dream of dryads and their beautiful trees. Yeah, Emma, not not the best time for stop and chat. <sighs> You're welcome among this girl. Beautiful exuberance is music. He used to dream, but he does that. Oh, yeah, I touched it. He's getting into some very dark territory. Yes, moving on. <laughs> that sounds different. He showed me. I spit on his name. I spit on his points. Live as you can where you must, young woman. When can we go home? You're the one that's talking. Always open a path for you. Well, is that all there is to this area? Not even a method or a goblin to fight. Just beautiful trees. Well, no, there's a little something down here. All right. Probably be a safe spot to rest back there with the dryads. Uh oh. What? What is this place? It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it is not likely that our captor would rent out space. There is simply no way that this space belongs to the same person that owns those horrible glass containers. Captain Perfect. It's for a lost love. Captain Perfect condition. She despises him. This is his monument to her. Cut. It cannot hurt you now. You are among friends. There must be some pretty disturbed writers that come up with all this stuff. Eesh. This room. But you know, that's what it takes. You can't just have a generic kill the dragon story, you know, if you want to resonate with people. Evil wizard, blah, blah, blah. You gotta find ways to make it resonate, even if it makes you uncomfortable sometimes. Oh no, he's dying. I don't think I got that cure poison either. Uh oh. You know, reload. It is done. <laughs> yes, fine. I was supposed to be checking for traps, damn it. There 
through some of the traps. Oh, I guess that one's... I guess that one can't be avoided. Trap not disarmed. And why not? I guess that one you have to walk around. Eesh. Man, I am not doing good with my trap detection all of a sudden. Ah! Reload. <laughs> I've been so quick with it. Oh, what? Ah! All right. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Uh, hmm. Well, yep. I've got two yes. thieves if they're both here. Fine. That should double my chances to find these. Okay, I guess that one can't be avoided. What do you want? What is her trap skills? Uh, find tra now, what is disable the trap? Is she better at traps than I am? Gotcha. What is this place? The skin. It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, there is Cannot simply no way dialogue. that this space belongs to the same person that owns those horrible glass containers. Can she? Oh, she's better than me. No! That means I really should have just gone with a straight fighter. Portal key. So his thieving abilities are going to be useless. If I keep Emily. Uh oh, where is this going to come from? If I have to fight to get out of here, so Damn! I go. Run away! Heal yourself. Oh, she's got no healing. What? You didn't see that. That's not right. I am ready. Oh. My blade will cut you ready and good to go. Away, there you go. That's not right. Whew. That was a tough fight. As I would have done. Okay. Wow. We are gonna have to uh Right you are. Rest up. Oh, what's that? Please tell me those are some good bracers. I could sure use them. Bracers of defense. Yes, perfect. So she can wear those just fine, still cast her spells. Pommel Jewel of the Equalizer. What? What the? Oh, I guess it's a uh, part of an artifact. Speak your if it would help. So just to be ah! I'll try to rest. Man, I can't believe they don't heal you up automatically when you rest. I guess that's probably easy mode. I might have to use it anyway, because this is gonna get tired. It's gonna get old really quick. This is definitely will get old. Must be an option in the settings. Let's see gameplay, story mode. Yeah, rest until rest until healed. This option does not work in multiplayer. I'm just going to activate that. <laughs> I know it's kind of cheesy, but oh yeah, That's, I makes it a lot easier. Need. I thought as much. A lot less cumbersome. Time to move. Gotta remember to keep her armor spell going. Actually, I don't know if she needs it anymore. Let's see if it makes any what difference. So her armor class is four. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it still helps. So armor, does this get better as you level up, or is it just a one? Always does the same thing. Yes, yeah, same as scale mill armor. Yes. So until she gets some bracers of AC six, I suppose it's still going to be good to have. 
All right, so I guess we have everything we need now to go through that portal. Question is, which portal? I don't think I found any statuary. Everybody has a helmet. She can't put a helmet. Yeah, I don't think... I just have these keys. I don't have a, a helmet. I mean, a, a statue. Right. Um, so, let's try a lot of these portals. Locked portal. I guess we'll start with the closest one. And I got this. This probably just goes to there. Now, this, this might just take us back to here. Let's just see. Why don't we just see where it takes us? So, there is sanity in all this madness. Oh, this guy. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place, Yoshimo begs your assistance. You know, I won't give away any spoilers. It's just, I'll keep quiet. <laughs> Fair line, easily used by the servants and lizards. I share your sentiments. I've seen much here that has disturbed me. I myself am a warrior with no evil intentions. How did you come to be here? You think we're in a couple? I'm sure not long. Then you too know the hardship of being sent into a maze. So we could have him join us, but uh, I'm not going to. <laughs> First, however, a warning. In the next chamber, there are four portals. Each of these portals releases little cackling fiends which try to kill me. Perhaps if the portals are destroyed, one can defeat the beasts that have already come through. If you walk before these wands, you may be killed. It yeah. is done. So you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to see if I can go back through the portal. Oh, that was a whole person. That's a good spot. I'm not done exploring this. I want to fully explore this area. And then we will see. Don't like to leave a level unex underexplored because we know somewhere here there must be that statue to get into there. Could be later on, but we'll see. I need to take a break here in a, a little bit anyway. So let's see if this works. If we can get through this portal. If not, take a little break, come back, and check out the second level. Well, that was original. So it just takes us to the. If you think it is wise to. I take us to the same exact so place. Comes back to hunt us. All right, uh, I'll take a little break here. Come back. We'll play some more. See you soon. Through the peril of editing, you may not even notice I was gone. All right, and I'm back up and running again. You guys thought I was kidding about having these little <laughs> John Irenicus tubes. Uh, these are called, I guess cloches or cloches but as you can see this one even has a little guy in there <laughs> yeah so i know there's not a lot of rats in this video at least so far so maybe this will compensate you a little bit for this very nice very decorative you know very very nice touch and nobody's gonna let that guy <laughs> nobody's gonna release him all right let's see where are we where were we what the heck's going on so as i recall uh, we need to find a statue. <clears throat> we need to find us some way to open that secret or locked portal. And I don't think we found it yet. 
I don't think that has anything to do it uh, do with it. So let's continue. We'll uh, look at the second level a little bit. Let's see where we go. Hey, I'm alive. I'm trying to get a jar of honey open, and for some reason my finger's completely numb. What the heck's up with that? Huh? Oh, we got a smoke method. Nice method. Method portal. Oh, that's right. Yoshimo was saying something about this. We gotta close these portals. We're gonna keep spawning. Oh yeah, this is starting off great. <laughs> Should probably pick a different order for these guys. That's one of the bad things about Infinity Engine. It's just the pathfinding is not right, has always right. been a a bit of a bear. I am ready. If I have to get out of here, so be it. Oh. Oh, this guy must be hard to hit. What is doing that? I need to get there and target the portal. There we go. Let him do that one. Let her do this one. And we'll get that guy on. What is your here? will? Ooh. We're surrounded! <laughs> oh, this isn't going as smoothly as I would like. People are like, you sure you played this game before, Speak Matt? Great fun to right. Get that portal. Here we go. Another one. Whoa, what was that? I think that was one of those chromatic. Oh, she's about to die. What the hell? Whoa, what? That, what's going on? What? What is that? Why is she lying down on the job? Oh, crap on a stick. <sighs> All right, we're gonna have to do this again. I don't know what is up with my fingers completely numb. It's kind of scary. <sighs> Maybe I've clicked too much today. It is done. Okay, let's try it again. This time, I think I'll. Uh... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> let's try it again. <laughs> it is done. This time, let's put a little protection on before we go in. That. Yep. <clears throat> you know, haste might not be inappropriate. Uh, I don't think I have bless ready. What is your will? You point. I point. My will is for you not to die. I could make him go berserk. Uh, you know, a minor glove of invulnerability might not be bad either. Okay, let's see how we do this time. I might want to go in with a haste if this doesn't work. I see what I gotta do. I need to destroy these portals as quickly as possible, but that guy, whoever's doing that, is bad news. Magma method. Let's see, we'll have a, maybe I could summon some monsters and take some of that pressure off. Well, whatever that is. <clears throat> Something's got her. Sleep. Oh, she's asleep. <laughs> well, that's probably why she can't fight. What? Yeah. <laughs> Really? This tough? One more. A tough little fight. Right. I think we got it this time. She can just keep from dying. <coughs> that little fight wasn't playing around. Oh, you probably want to say before you get too crazy opening up Ready and willing. Mm -hmm. opening it up chests and stuff, because you never know which one might be trapped and blow up your whole party. Yes, that has happened. Wand of I Summoning Key. Jeez. So this Arenicus is a bad dude. He is all I kinds can. of creepy. 
I think he's violating some Geneva Conventions. What do you think? Something up? Gotcha. Okay. Can I see me? Uh, getting lots more keys. Cloud, a key of cloud kill. You know, I'm just totally mad at myself for not remembering that we have a, a rogue. You know, Emma one's a perfectly good thief. I didn't need to make my dude a fighter thief. I could have just made him a straight fighter. Probably would have been better. It might be okay. We'll see how it goes later, but I'm starting to regret that choice. Because usually I only want to make him a thief is because I thought we wouldn't have a, you know, a thief in the party. You want to have at least one. You just don't necessarily need multiple, <laughs> multiple rogues. As I would have done. Time to move. Good oh. to go. All right. Come on, me. Oh, wow, that's 12 hours, plus 3 in. That's perfect for Emowyn. Last for 12 hours, too. That's a good long... Uh, a good long uh, spate. Oh, it's a curse scroll. <laughs> we don't want that. <coughs> Speak your... If it will help. Okay, is that... Got one more chest here. I don't know if I opened this one already. Oh, that's Khalid. Oh, bummer. Khalid. No. This this is an illusion, a dream. A bad dream. Where are the mirrors? The switches to pull to show where he's hidden. Khalid. That's sad. Damn. Damn you. So these writers definitely want us to take this personally. It's really got some... Gets it sucks into you. You want to do something about this guy? This isn't real, is it? He couldn't be dead. <laughs> it looks like the fool finally got himself. Can you imagine saying that? This is Khalid. What has happened to him? Shut up. No more words. Words are nothing. A brave man has fallen here, but there's no cause to hurl insults at the living. What do you and your rodent know? What can you know? Man, this is getting heated. Take this man to what he justly deserves, by nature's will. What it was given is returned. I lead of my heart, let my love, my love guide the way. We must hurry before we are noticed. We must get out of this, this grave and seek the light above. Yeah, that could raise the dead. Why not? Beyond a point, there can be no raising. Especially when the body has been desecrated. It's better to let go. <laughs> yeah. You know, if I lived in a world where there were such things as raid deads, raise the dead scrolls and resurrection scrolls, I hope my girlfriend would not just want to give up that easily. And not disturb this body further. That's just the way of things. Enough, I would leave this place. Jahira, I want to say how sorry I am about Khalid. I... I know this is hard. No! You do not know. This is not the time for this conversation, child. Not the time. Stop calling me child! I'm as old as Matt! <clears throat> <coughs> Khalid was dead when our captor started. He showed me, he cut and showed me, he forced my eyes open. Made me look as he... I don't want to hear this. He said, do you see? He would cut and say, do you see? Cut and say, do you see? Be quiet, child, no more. So, Jahira, this is probably not the time to bring up that you're available now. And, uh, would you like to go out? <laughs> Probably not the best time. Not the best time. Okay. He's good to go. What else? Did, did I pick up some other items there? Man, all these keys, but they take up slots in my inventory. There's a little... Big 
your death. What is that? Not make it quick. Assassin. So do you want to help the assassin? Now I gotta fight the assassin. I don't remember these bucklers. That's something new they added for uh, this game. So can anybody use a buckler? Well, it's probably gonna. Well, she can't use it with a short bow, obviously. Well, that'd be worth hanging on to, though. Maybe it would be useful. Man, all these methods. Oh, that was even. But confused on me, looks like, or dazed. You did see that. Yeah, I think my rogue dude. <laughs> I wish I had just made a fighter. That is just gonna be a pain. Nature's servant away. Oh, for the eyes, boo. Oh, for the eyes, yeah! I might want to get some. Uh... Great fun! I know there's gotta be some great leather armor, so I'll just hold on to them. I could just stick some armor on him and forego the, you know, whatever little perks I get as a rogue. I need to do some research and figure out how to figure out how the backstabbing works, if that's even a thing. In this iteration, <clears throat> I guess it probably tell me here under class. Mm, see, thieves can't use thieving skills while wearing more than stuff leather armor. <clears throat> so does this mean just the traps or does it also include the uh see nothing there about backstabbing uh, backstab damage three so there is a backstab i wish you'd give me a little more info about how it works <clears throat> do i literally need to be behind them you know, some games, that's the way that it works. I think, actually, gameplay. Uh, one of these, there was an option, like, to use a different version of Backstab. Might have been Icewind Dale, I'm thinking of. I thought as much. But Backstab, that, that ability in Sneak Attack changes between the different versions. And one of these games will let you select which... You know, version of that you wanted to use. I don't know if it was this one though. All right, is that a large? No, it's medium. Acorns. I'm trying to get a little room in the old inventory. Oh, I remember what I was doing. So I don't know if you, if the, whatever this backstab, however that works. I'm gonna take a minute to look that up and, and be right back. Okay, so I'm <clears throat> looking here at the BaldersGateFandom.com wiki. They say for the backstab to work, you got to be concealed, so hide in shadows or invisible. You have to be behind the target, obviously. You have to be wielding an appropriate weapon, and it says I can use it with the dual wielding, but only if the one in the main hand is backstab uh, eligible. And let's see, daggers works. Oh, longsword works. Pretty much any conceivable weapon would work. So I'll see if uh, we could try to experiment with that a little bit. So let's see, he's got his... Uh, yeah, that should be fine. That dagger should work just great for backstabbing. You know, I might Speak. want to uh, turn on that... His script. Because otherwise I'm going to have to constantly be remembering to put him into uh, stealth mode, but... I think I can go in, yeah, customize, script, uh, where is it, hide in shadows, I could turn that on, and let's see they if that see you coming. Okay, yep. he automatically hides, and I might as well do that for her too. Let's just try this a little bit and see how we like it, because I know this will slow us down. Now you yes. see me, now you don't. Plus we'll have to hear that message about 10 billion as you times. Would have it. <laughs> Give me a task. Now I can't find traps and be stealthed, which is another big one. I am ready. It is done. So they see me coming. I might need to switch back and forth. 
Because there's a lot of crap. Ah, speaking of which, jeez Louise, okay. It is done. As soon as I say the word traps. Yes. Okay, now is this gonna. Okay. Fine. So I know he'll come out of stealth mode. They will see you coming. Oh, this is gonna get really tricky. A little bit cumbersome. Why can't you stealthily look for traps? What is your will? I await nature could find you here for the problem. Go ahead, heal him up. I go. Okay, why didn't you heal? I am ready. What? Let's try to stealth this time. They will see. It will be done. Trap. Oh, he's gonna run the trap. Well, that's okay. <laughs> <coughs> it's okay if he does it, although I still would have liked to kill him before he got to the trap so I could disarm it and get the XP. Yeah. They won't see. This place is just too darn right, creepy. What do I need to do here? I really want out of here. Nature! I'm alive, she Yikes! These traps are terrible. Oh, I'm gonna redo this. Yes. All right. Uh, I hope this doesn't mean I'm gonna have to constantly go in and change the script. He's got to check for traps first. You know what? What might be a good way to do this? You point where it means Let's have the guys with the ranged attacks go in. See if I can pick these guys off without having to walk on those traps. No, nope. stay back. They will there you go. Swords, not words. What do you want? There we go. Much better. Okay, now. Oh. So if I'm actively controlling him. Very what the fuck? Good God, there's a lot of traps in here. They won't see me. Fine. Yeah, see, this sucks. He keeps turning off his trap mode. Ah, okay. Yep. Well, it's probably less important for her to be in stealth mode. So I will let her just be the one that uh, checks for traps. All right, where was that? Oh, oh shit, I think it's. What do you want? Or is it customize, customize, customize? I'll turn it off for her. Let's see, hide and shadows off, find traps. Let's see, it's one or the other. So I guess that is conceivably a reason to have two thieves. So one can be your trapper, trap spotter. They won't see me coming. And the other one can be the uh, stealthy one. Trap not disarmed. And why not? She's not close enough to it. Ow! Come on! They won't see me coming. What's the deal? Is she failing? What is your will? It will be done. Uh, is it maybe it's one of those traps you just can't it is done. Can't pick. That's... Is your way around? What? Very well. Let's see. They won't see me coming. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, this is the guy that I had to constantly switch. Name it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him Good to go. across. Woo! Go ahead and save it. Be funny if when you quick save, you know how it says quick save successful. It's like it has to roll and die to see. They won't see me coming. <laughs> Did you pass your quick save check? Oh. A lot of traps. All right, that looks like something official. Just don't walk in the trap. Oh. Oof. 
So I'm guessing I can't do anything with these traps. Let's. I saved it. Let's just see. Trap not disarmed. You know, let me try to take this potion she got. See if that makes any difference. Come on, Dad. Don't let me suffer in this place. We both. No, that didn't make a damn no. bit of difference. No, I'm not dying here. Gotcha. I'm not. Oh, what on, what the? Hey, come on, relax. They won't see me coming. All right, so gotcha. that you just can't. Can't do anything with these traps, except uh, somehow she's not tripping them, which is on the edges, even though it looks. They like won't she see me coming. Are you telling me that thing's not trapped? Well, maybe not. Oh, that looks like a ring of protection. <coughs> <coughs> ring of the princes. Uh, what do we? What does it do? Lucky 13. Armor class plus one. Saving throws plus one. You know, that'd probably be most useful, actually, for my, my character. A den of stinking evil. Oh. Cover your nose, boo. We will a... leave no crevice untouched. Is there a switch or something? I could turn these traps off? They won't see me coming. Uh-oh. Now, can I run back and have these guys... <coughs> <coughs> walk across the traps. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, careful, careful. That goblin. He has to walk across these traps. What traps? What the hell? Is there another trap? I await your need. Man, they really got carried away with the traps. Alright, let me give him the ring. Yes. That'll help fine. a little bit. They won't see me coming. Yep. Well, I guess when you save, it doesn't remember where you found the traps. Yeah, see, there it is. Now, if they see it, does that mean that they automatically avoid it? Because that would make a lot of sense. Uh, what's Let going? me have a taste. Come. We provided fresh blood for once. We seek Irenicus. Give us the upstart and you shall survive. Already am I dead, thief. Join me in darkness. Kill this creature and raise the guild. Irenicus should learn... What it is to betray the shadow thieves. Oh, there we go. I remember it's starting to come back to me now. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can back her out. Stay away from the trap. Now, this would be alright if they had to walk across those traps. If the enemies will. I don't see them though. I am ready. Yeah, I just I'm taking too much damage. I need to heal. They won't see me coming. You point where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. I, I don't know if I'm just walking in the, just the right place to avoid this trap, or since it's identified, or since it's detected, he's got enough sense to avoid it. Uh oh. Did she just turn into a bat? They won't see me coming. What is going on here? You see that? It looked like she turned into a bat. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a weird place, man. <laughs> oh, don't walk right down the middle. That's where I would put a trap. What do you want? Right you are. What is your will? It will be done. Ow! Oh, don't walk across it! No! What? Jeez, people, come on! Very well. Don't walk in the trap! It is above. I go. Here is left. Yeah, and you notice these traps stay even after they've been tripped. These are nasty. 
You know, my guess is there's some way to turn these off. That is my Speak guess. My... Okay, what we're gonna try to do here is rest. They won't see me come. Yep, and that was a safe place to rest. You could tell because there were vampires in here. You know what I wonder though is Name it. Nature, <clears throat> sir, as I would have done. Sometimes there's little secrets. I just love it, you know, when you find a little secret. Sometimes there's just a little panel panel or a little uh, hidden chest or something. They won't see me coming. You know, all they had to do is put a little timer on those messages and just say, don't say that every time. You know, if you said that within the past two seconds, don't say it again. Okay, I could just, if I'm looking at this right, I should be able to walk right down the middle. They won't see me coming. Mm, indeed. I want to give my, my rogue a chance to use his backstab to see how cool it is. It's, if it really kicks ass, you know, I'll keep the character. <laughs> Otherwise, you might be looking into... I don't know if I'd want to start over or just... You know, the problem with those editor... You can download these character editor utilities that let you do whatever you like. You know, if you mess up your levels or whatever. But... Oh, I miss that. <laughs> the problem with using that tool, though, is once you start using it, it's hard to resist. You know, then from then on, every time you mess something up or something doesn't go your way, you're tempted to jump in and use it. Just somehow it takes away from the fun factor. Come to torment an old man with his, within his glass prison. No, I'm not. What, who's this guy? Frenadin. Uh, you look like none others I have seen here. I was recently a prisoner myself. An old man looking for his freedom. So how did he, uh, how did he get to be here? Why I do not know. He's been magically experimented on. Do you know how to open your glass door? Oh, he's behind glass. There is a key in one of those chests. You seem far too eager. How do I know I can trust you? Yes, try that. Ah, uh, you will not help an old, feeble man? Save me, dear sir. Perhaps you will aid a helpless Please little boy then? Me. <clears throat> you turn into a boy before my eyes and expect me to trust you? Explain yourself. Please help me. You're an old man. He's a doppelganger. Not to be confused with the doppelbach. If you run into a, doppel a gang of doppelgangers when you've been drinking a doppelbach... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the start of a good song or a good limerick like one of you guys make me a little limerick about a doppelgangers and doppelbox I'm not a dop I'm not a dop one of those I see I've been here for so long okay so I guess we can try to rescue this doppelganger or this illusionist to whatever it is. Ah! I will require healing. Goodness! Ah, oh, that's a good potion. Man, they have just overloaded this place with oh invisibility. <clears throat> that's what I need for my. Uh... This will help me with uh, my my backstabbing. Yeah, so I probably should get that and then cast it on my character next time we go into a battle. If I can think to do that. Uh, let's see, what was I doing? Yes. Oh, they won't see me coming. It takes a lot of damage. That'd be worthwhile putting that resist. Uh, she have the resist elements or something like that. Might be worth putting that on. Right, Speak if trend. they won't see me coming. Oops, M-O-N, well, I'm, right, I'm in right. M-O-N, I'm in M-O-N. Oh, what's this? Protection screw. Yes, that's what I need. Protection from electricity. And I guess anybody can cast that. Okay. Up. <coughs> Save. 
No problem at all. All right, there's the key to Frenadin's room. They won't see me coming. And a knock spell. Potion of Fire Breath. This potion of fire breath magically transforms the th throat so that it's capable of a giant breath of fire spewing forth in an arc. Well, that would be very useful for my front line. Stick it on you here or there. I got these potions ready too. Also, has the side benefit of clearing up some space. Put on some jewelry. Let's have a necklace, Minsk. Oh, Minsk. Oh, how I've missed you, Minsk. Oh, Minsk. I don't want to knock this spell, but it's pretty cool. All right. Uh, <clears throat> invisibility. Where is invisibility? There is an improved invisibility. Similar to invisibility, but the recipient is able to attack by missile melee. Huh? So does this mean that backstab will work or won't work with it? <clears throat> Let's just try it. You can always experiment with it, right? Okay, I guess uh, I like all these spells. One turn per level. So what is it? Turns and rounds, right? The three rounds. A turn. One turn. What is a turn and what is a round? I think the round means. I think the turn is like for the all after everybody's gone, right? Or, oh boy. <laughs> so confused. I think is a turn a decent amount of time in a game like this? So what does this do anyway? This is a good spell, it's a good buff. Be really good, probably, to cast on my, my character. Actually, uh, uh, I guess I'll get rid of Web. I want to try this invisibility out. Okay, let's go ahead and rest up and just see what happens. Save first. Okay, that worked. Time to move. Get our armor back on. They won't see you coming. These are the abilities he can do automatically. I think they all get this. Uh, I am ready. I thought his much. All right, let's see what Frenadin does. Here he comes. They won't see me coming. Thanks for freeing me. I'm not being troublesome, am I? I mean no harm. Do you know anything about the prison such as a way out? I saw nothing. Thank you for allowing me to follow you out. Why do I not trust this doppelganger? I feel like he's trying to manipulate me. To feel Keep sorry for him. They won't see me coming. Oh, these inventories. I need a scroll case. Bad. Cursed scroll of foolishness. Yeah, that's what I need. Try to clear up some space here. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. Was there anything else in there? Oh, that's a good spell. I think that's a blur. Yeah, four rounds plus two rounds per level. Oh, somebody leveled up. Now, just while I'm thinking about this, so one turn is 10 rounds or one real minute. So what you want, if you want something that lasts a long time, if it says it lasts a turn, that's a lot better than if it says it lasts one round. <laughs> so that clears that up. It is about and it looks like she leveled up. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can control anything here. So she's got no additional proficiencies or skills. She's got some... Hit points, lore, and level uh, some new spells. That's all there is there to that. 
Okay, you still have to actually memorize them, though. Uh, so this is seven rounds. That's one turn, strength of one. The thing is, you don't necessarily, not all characters need to be strong to work. I don't, oh, now, I don't know if in this, oh, hang on again. Yeah, so I just wanted to double check this, so I wouldn't give anybody bad information. So strength, it says it modifies a creature's thacko and the damage they deal with all melee weapons, as well as for some slings and throwing weapons. So is that true even of, it says all melee weapons, Does that include like daggers? Okay, let's just see what happens then. Because I keep getting confused with some of the later versions where like the rogue, you don't even need strength. You just want to have dexterity. Ooh, call woodland beings. So this last three minutes, I think that's right. Or was it? How can I already have forgotten how long a turn is? I'm pretty sure it's a real, uh, real time minute. So that should three turns should be. Yeah, ten rounds. Okay, so this would be thirty rounds. You could summon some nymphs, and they use uh, priest spells. So that's pretty good. So how would this not be better than the, uh... so Cure Serious Wounds heals 17 points of damage versus calling this Woodland Beings who can cast uh, Mass Cure. And it seems like you'd be better off casting this, these Woodland Beings, right? Wouldn't they be a little more useful? You got neutralized poison, protection from lightning, cloak of fear. Yeah, let's try this. I never really experimented with call woodland beings, so I always like trying new things out. <clears throat> Completely lost Speak my train your of mind. thought. Oh, what do you now want? let's see. So his taco with the dagger is twelve his main hand. Let's put that strength on him. Name. And if it lowers that Thacko, we'll know they it's something we might want to consider making use it more often. This way then? Why, why didn't that work? Oh, he's invisible. Yes. <sighs> Ready this and willing. Tricky. Hopefully he doesn't try to hide or anything. They will see you coming. Okay, he's strength. Yeah, see, so that stinks. So since he's uh, using melee weapons, he still needs strength even though he's a rogue. I don't know if that controls the amount of damage, too. It just said... Uh, let's see, does it say it affects damage? you think it would affect damage. Yeah, here we go. Here's a chart. So we should do more damp. Uh, plus two. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but. Except for halflings, all warriors get an exceptional strength bonus when having a strength of 18. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, the halfling warrior, more fun value than practical value. Your servant awaits, as you would have. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we could still make it work if we use uh, scrolls and potions. Maybe we'll probably find some, a ring or something eventually. It'll give you some good strength perk, good strength bonus. Just make sure to give it to him, because the high dex is very useful as well. Just not a. Uh, we just do a little more damage with uh, being stronger. I don't know if that would apply if I was using the. Uh, I have some plus one bullets with ranged attacks. Okay. How long does that strength spell last? You know, one of the things the later versions of the game did that I really like was that as you get more powerful, the spells last longer. 
instead of just having a fixed amount of time at last. I always thought that was kind of dumb. I guess they say, well, we make it better. It still has the same effect because you get more slots and you can just memorize it twice. No, but this one does. So it's one turn per level. So I'd have to remember to do that before a battle. I can't just keep it on. It'd be nice if this was just like a straight up hour per level real time. But you can't have it too easy, man. All right. So that was some useful stuff. Now I need to try to get across. What is without... simple enough? Ooh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> okay. I could... Sword, jump on my sword while you can. They evil. won't see you. I Come won't on. be as gentle. Can I get everybody across without going I down the middle? It is done. Oh, what about that doppelganger? What's this? Short bow. Here comes the doppelganger. They won't see me coming. Nature could find a home here for yes. right. Okay, this would be a good chance Watch. to try out my rogue. Hmm. So he's... Well, come on. Arms. Did he backstab? <clears throat> I don't think I got a attack in before the thing was dead. Here we go. Let's see, is he going to backstab? Yeah, 30 damn backstab. Triple damage! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little fussy, but... You know, I could see where triple damage could make a big difference. Speak, it will be done. Oh, there's friend of He's He got... He got mean. Time to good to go. Wait, what? Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> Why are you using that staff? Jeez, Louise, people, come on. Very well. I said prefer the... Oh, but he's he's not gonna be able to do it. Well let's just see. So we might have to be hidden for it to work, even though he's backstabbing technically. Ooh. Mince live by this old mince live a good long time. <sighs> Why is he using his bow? Yet I don't know if that's really back enough. I think I hit him. Thanks. No, I just set the damage. So he's got to be in stealth mode. So we'd have to constantly be making him invisible. Gotcha, good. We'd only get to use it maybe once at the start of the battle, assuming he can stay hidden. Every hump stand back for justice. I think the archers take <laughs> some penalties if they're too close. They won't see. Even if that's not the case, you know, I, I never understood that really. I, I mean, agree. unless you are literally so close that you can't properly draw the the bow. I mean, if I'm like, if you're there and I've got a bow, <laughs> you, know, you don't want to be shot by me. <laughs> I don't care if it's close range, man. It's not like the arrow gets faster as it flies, you know. It's just an initial velocity. Uh, you know, I'd rather be hit by an arrow from a long ways off. I am willing. Okay. Why do I keep doing that? I got all these bolts plus one, but nobody has a crossbow. Although I think a crossbow is a lovely weapon. Uh, you know, it was pointed out to me one time. I don't remember. Were we talking about this? Yeah, she's got the short bow. Uh, but with a bow of any sort, you know, when you're aiming it, it's always a little bit off because, the, you know, the arrow has to sit somewhere. So you have to compensate a little bit. It takes a little training experience. But with a crossbow, it's just like a gun. You know, you could aim right down the sight. And it's a little more intuitive. Makes it easier to be accurate with it. Ooh, this is cool. This large and impressive forge is they probably used in the creation of magical devices. It's a 
magical forge. Yeah, I. This is probably not a safe place to rest, but let's just see. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my uh, all. Just Crap. like old times. Well, okay. Well, we'll, we'll for the torture. Uh, I thought she had some slots you could set. What is that? Oh, that's the quick. Oh, there's the quick loot. Oh, I thought there were some slots where you could set certain spells. Quick slots. Oh, that was it. I could be uh, misremembering that. If you think it is wise to do so, so much comes back to haunt us. We can't go far enough without him bothering oh, me. Got some more dwarves. Let's back we can't up. Go far enough without him Maybe I can actually me. use one of those area of effects spells. Let's try. Right, you are. Ooh. Speak, I go. They won't see you coming. You know, if you could just be good enough with this, you could run. cast a web or something and then entangle them and then pull them down with your archers. Ready and willing. All right, all right. But as you can see, I didn't quite space that out well enough. <laughs> Whoops. Well, my own dudes have to walk through the fart cloud. They won't see you Okay. Come on. Make way, villainy! Hero coming through! He's sitting there, that's good. Oh, now he's down. Oh, let's be good. Let's get it. It's done. Okay, let's try that again. Be a little bit smarter this time. You know, I wonder if she could stealth. Cast the spell. Oh, she failed to think. By the exile, the prisoners have escaped. Okay, let's try this again. Make sure we get it in there. Okay, now. You point. If I have to fight to get out of here, these guys. So be it. <laughs> there we go. They won't see. Now tell me, this isn't cheesing the mechanics a little bit. What? Sometimes. Name good to go. You just get to a spot where a little uh My blade will cut. Oh, or something like words. this can make the difference. Ooh, especially a nasty old wizard. They won't see me coming. You know, I think I told you guys that my first uh, I didn't know about Baldur's Gate. I was more into the Might and Magic series, but I, my girlfriend at the time was a big fan of this. She said, I remember, I, I remember her showing me that little trick. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little trick. Charm person. She was a charming person. Blindness. They're getting all kinds of spells. Cannot save it this time. I wonder they why that is. Coming. I think it wouldn't have been that hard to let you save just because that spell was on. They could have always just made the spell uh, go away. Okay, let's see if yes, I can do my next thing. Don't kill him before I get to backstab him. Jeez. They won't see me coming. I'm thinking that would only be worth the trouble of doing the whole invisible or stealth and backstab if you really had a powerful monster with a whole lot of health. Right, willing, right you are. That you needed to take out quick. In that case, that would probably really shine. <laughs> they won't see you. Ooh, we got a heavy crossbow. Problem is, I don't want to take the. I don't want to lose my proficiency bonuses. Just be able to use that. Uh, I might have start getting rid of some stuff here. Locked. 
Ooh, a belt. Ooh, a mace. Oh, I got a mace. I got another mace. Oh, but Minsk already has a bow that he's been doing so good with. Oh, no. Destroyer of the Hills. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What about this belt? Equipped abilities. Armor class plus four versus crushing attacks. Oh, so it's just for defensive purposes only. I'll go ahead and give it to Matt. So now's the conundrum. So I could leave him with the bow, which he's been kicking butt with. Or we could go with uh, two maces. And this will let him take advantage of his... Yeah, two points of mace proficiency. Oh, that's not working. Should show me what that does. And his two weapon styles. So this is a pretty good. You know, he'd probably be rocking. They won't see me coming. He would probably rock with two maces. Let's just try it out for a while and see if we like it. Because I really like him with a bow too. <clears throat> it's good to have the option. Something up? Alright, alright. Yeah, more arrows, more splint mail. Those are just regular bolts. Uh, what kind of armor does he have? Chain mail. Armor class 5. Armor class 2. Let me see. So this is 2 with splint mail. It's three with that mail, so what is this? Chain mail. I think he's better off with the splint mail, but the splint mail gives you three versus piercing and missile, two versus piercing. This gives you three versus slashing, seven versus crushing. Hmm. There's always trade offs. I guess if you really wanted to micromanage, you could have a couple different kinds of armor that you swap in and out of, but. Way too tedious for our purposes. All right, let's take a look at it for my character. So I got the studded leather armor. And if I switch to that, I won't be able to use my uh, backstab, I guess. Okay. What is this? Chain mail? You know, I'll just keep the better mail just in case I do decide to. Uh, you know, go that route, I'll have the option. Let's get rid of this extra. So I hate to get rid of these items, but you know, I just I'm getting tired of swapping around. Uh, I wonder if the pole arms in this game have reach. You know, some games you can be in the back row and still reach reach them with a spear. I don't know if that's if that works in this game or not. Never really experimented much with that. Okay. I probably got enough arrows at this ready. point. As I would have done. Time no, to move. Stay no back. Okay. Yep. You can count on me. Got a desk. They will. You know, I really ought to save it every time. Because that has happened before. You sort all this inventory out or whatever, and then you accidentally open up a desk and it's trapped and you lose your party. What is your will? Okay, I think I've searched everything. Yeah, okay, good. Well, let's see. Uh, must be something else here. They won't see me coming. Yeah, there's a lot I haven't explored, actually. Let's get out of here. Can't stop. Not sure how long I want to make this video. I kind of got carried away last time, but... I'm thinking that... Uh-oh. Don't forget those... They won't see me stupid coming. Stupid traps in here. What do you want? Is that the same bow that was there this before? Way, then? 
Every jump on my sword while you oh, can. Oh, back! I won't be as gentle. I see a bow over there. Oh, it's just a regular bow. Okay. They won't see me. Man, there's, got, oh, there's gotta be a way to shut these stupid traps off. Under these fire, a tiger. Okay, I've been in there. That's where I found Frenolin. For neat. Yeah. Okay, curve falls. They won't see me coming. Stay to the edges. Uh, I haven't been down here, have I? Speak your I thought as much. Armored, live by the Watch. sword. It will be live done. a good long time. Serve as you would have it. I guess the trick there is just simply to stay. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's not invisible, is he? Very well. Yeah, he keeps failing. I need to put a lot they more points in the... I need a lot more points in moving in shadows or hiding in shadows and moving si silently. Is it... I wonder what's the relationship between those two. All right, let's educate ourselves here. The stealth ability is governed by the hide and shadows and move silently skills. Okay, there's a difference between the original game and this one. And light armor, okay. And when a character attempts to enter stealth mode, the first condition checked is whether the character can see any hostile enemies. All right, so if we see a hostile enemy, it's too late to do it. All right, characters hide in shadows, move silently. Skills are averaged together and compared against the lighting at the spot where the character is standing. Oh, this is quite a bit more to this than I thought. Okay. The character can move freely. Gameplay. Since the average of the skills is used, there's no benefit to having a higher value in one over the other. With that in mind, set hide and shadows and move silently to 200 to get to the maximum stealth ability. The stealth penalty at daytime outdoors is 50%. The character sprite when they sh a blinded character is able to hide anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> So quite a bit, I quite a bit to those mechanics. It is done. They won't see me coming. All right, where's the rest of my group? Speak. Aha, uh -huh, I knew there had to be reinforcements. Couldn't be that powerful by himself, I said. We'll see the end of Irenicus in your little guild war before this day is through. So these guys think we're with Irenicus. What are you talking about? I just went out of this option. I just went out of this dungeon. <laughs> this one else. I am no friend of Irenicus. I will fight him with you. I do not believe you. To take an ally from the heart of the beast would be foolish. Your master dies above and you shall join him. Get out of my way. I don't want to fight any of you. I just want to leave. You and your girl die, no matter your words. Give me a indeed. Perfect opportunity for a backstab. Ah! <laughs> Wait, did I kill him? I just get a thousand XP. Did I, what? The, did I? What? Okay, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think I did something good. Where, where, where are you yes. going? Oh, there's more than one. Oh, I did backstab one. So my ha 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 was justified. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. I need to check these bows. I think these bows I'm finding are Gimpazic Langbows. Oh, what's the deal with these? There's something special about them. These were developed after the normal longbow, so you get a damage bonus. Oh. Why can't I use that? Oh, what? Why well, want it? 
Let me use it. Not usable. I guess because I'm part thief, I can't use that. Mm. But mints can use it. So instead of a plus one, no, it's still a plus one. Speed factor seven. Speed factor seven. Okay, so this should, yeah, increase the damage. All right, so he can't use it. That's interesting. Because it's composite somehow. That prevents him from knowing how to use a bow. But good yes. for Minsk if I stick with the bow. Bow says, what? I am ready. And I'm going to look up that speed factor business too. While I'm looking up stuff. Because I'm a little bit hazy on that. Speed factor. <clears throat> Let's see, combat is based on rounds. Rounds are periods that last for six seconds. Uh, the speed factor of a weapon determines when within those six seconds a creature wielding that weapon hits. The lower the number, the earlier the hit. A speed factor of zero means the creature hits at the start of the round. A speed factor of ten means the creature hits at the end of the round. And it gets just more complicated from there. <laughs> So basically, it sounds like the lower, you want things with a lower number. But I don't honestly know how big of a difference that makes. They will I see me coming. Let's see, does it say anything here about it? Does it really tell you how, how big of a difference it is? Devil's attack animation. Okay. <clears throat> A den of stinking evil. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave Simple no enough. crevice untouched. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> They will see. You telling me there's not a single Despite trap? So, so much comes back to hunt us. Oh, wait, did I explore this area? I don't know if I can go that way. Okay, so there's a little thing here I haven't explored. Let's uh, check that out before we go up there. Yeah, that sounds good. Where'd my party go? Oh, I didn't realize I had to make that big of a detour. But you can see with these, uh, this, this area map, you can, what's this do? Hmm. That's okay. A lot of times you can see just a part of a room and you're like, how do I get in there? How do I open that? It's a little clue you can use. Oh, here's some more of these uh, cloches. Okay. Beg for death and I'll make it quick. What is going on here? No one crosses the shadow thieves and lives. Return once you escaped came. clone. This is not your place. Uh, I'm not your master, dear leader. Is there all I can do for you? Do for me? Do for me? After all thou hast already done? We've done nothing to you. I see that you are an elf. We are prisoners here, as you are. Lies! Lies! I think I'm a clone now. Thou hast created me in her image, but I am not her. I'm not her, and I shall never let thee touch me. Oh, man, I could have done with a lot less of that. Sort of... Ugh. Give me a task. Cringy. Speak your mind. Okay. Yes. I think somehow I got unstealthed. <laughs> That's great. 
Ready and willing. Oh, but you know, this would be a good opportunity to use my... Uh, oh, not quite what I had in mind, but let's go ahead and make myself invisible. Ooh, hurry! Oh, and of course, dead before I get to attack. <laughs> was a copy? A copy of another person? I wonder why Renicus made her. Nature's servant awaits. They won't see me coming. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to like Renicus. I think we're supposed to view him as the bad guy. Very sick. Uh, some seem to be moving. This one is. Oh, that's the one that got out. I go. So really, there was nothing here but they flavor. Okay, I want a pearl necklace. The central unit seems to power the others. I don't see any way to turn it off. There's another fireball. I'm getting some damn good they scrolls. Coming. You know, if, we, if you were playing this on a difficulty level that made it hard to rest, the scrolls would be great. Okay, I think I've explored everything I can. Doesn't look like there's anything there. So let's go back to here, I guess. Do, 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 do. You know, I'm always looking at these maps and like, man, is there something like here? Is there a secret area? What is that? Oh, I guess I can put my own little notes. Yeah, map notes. I wish I could remember if that was in the original or is that one of the enhancements? Fairly sure that was one of the enhancements that Beam Dog put in. I could be dead wrong about it though. They I know that they did the auto come. loot. That's one of their enhancements. Uh oh. Oh, I thought this went on a bit, but I guess that's that's just it. Oh, here we go. Gotta go up north. Well, as long as I'm tinkering with the uh, settings, let's see if I can turn off those command sounds. Seldom. Selection sounds. I don't know if I never want to hear it. Character movement sounds. Huh. I wish I could make him not they won't see say you. that every two minutes. I guess it's useful, though, to let you know he's stealth, but he's not. Oh, I think we've explored the whole level. The tunnel slopes upward into the welcome glare of daylight. Such is your relief that you barely notice the debris at your feet. The remnants of a battle fought only moments before. Surveying the carnage, you hear a scream of rage, and a massive explosion collapses the passage behind you. <coughs> the sounds of combat greet you as you struggle to your feet. The fight, it seems, is still going strong. Nice. You dare to attack me here? Oh, I didn't want to leave. Do you even know who you You know, I think I might have to reload. You will all suffer. I never did get in that room with the statue. Hang on, I will let this. So, God child, you have escaped. <coughs> you are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing, do you? I don't care what you're doing. Let us go. I won't let you leave, not when I'm so close to unlocking your power. We don't want anything from you. Enough! I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. Oh, 
This is an unsanctioned use of magical energy. Time Lords. All involved will be held. This disturbance is over. Must I be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this. Ooh. This mage's power is immense. We must overcome him quickly. Enough. I haven't the time for this. You will cease your spell casting and come with us. Your pathetic magics are useless. Magics. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You bore me, Mageling. <laughs> Mageling. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. I don't remember this. Oh, so they take him away from I promise. It has been way too long since I've played this. This is ridiculous. Something must be done, Matt. We must find... I find it odd that Arunicus would leave his own volition. And surely we get her back at some point. Hope she left the gear I had on her behind. <laughs> yeah, okay. At least that. But I want to reload because I didn't get into that little secret area. You cannot save it. No! They won't see me coming. There we go. Uh, I know it is starting to come back to me now, though. Like, so we do need a rogue, maybe. Cause I don't know how long... Oh, yeah, this is all familiar. Is this important? I don't want to get into a big dialogue right now. I just want to reload. Yes, Go away. Stop talking. Correct. This is oh, uh, I think this is the last one, right? All right. Uh, it is done. There was that room with the statue. Now, have I found anything that would get me so Wanda Frost key energy cells? Hmm, got a summoning key, a lightning key, a portal key. I don't s remember seeing anything though. Remember finding a statue anywhere? Hmm. Must be something somewhere that though, because you remember, is that locked portal? You know what I could do? Let's uh. I don't want to worry about going all the way back. I'll just check to see if I could find it, and if I can, I'll pause it. Run all around and uh, I don't want to have to resort to uh, the Banshee quite yet. I wonder if there's some significance to these. Oh, you know, I could have forgotten. Missed. They won't see. Me yeah, see, coming. I haven't even searched some of these things. There's probably like a little chest somewhere I forgot check or didn't have enough room for they won't see me coming I see some chests over here but can't seem to get into that area there we go now let's see is that a secret no I guess there could be some secrets. Oh, I just don't want to leave without getting in that little area. They won't see me coming. It could be that you have to be a certain class or little some little something I didn't do. I am willing. It'll take a few minutes to explore. 
Because I think this might be a decent starting point, actually. I mean, it's just starting to get good, I know, but... You know, I don't necessarily want to play the whole game in a video. I think this is probably like the first 0.5% of the game so far. If you haven't played this in a while, like me, you're probably coming. like, oh man, I can't wait to create a character. Get in there. Try some character you haven't tried before. They won't see me coming. All right, here's the one. Okay, it says I need a little statue. You know, I it could even be that you eventually come back here, like much later in the game, and then you have whatever it is you need to get in there. But I just really want to make sure it's not something obvious. Okay. They won't see me coming. Hmm. Those are all finished. I yes. try to pick the lock. Let's yeah. use Emmeline. Gotcha. Nature, I go. What do you want? Good to go. The door has no visible lock or handle, and you can't seem to budge it. However, the floor has an odd-shaped recess to it. Coming. It looks as if a statuette or figurine could fit within. I would have done. Okay, let's make double sure we haven't somehow missed a figurine. They won't see me. I think it would be in this room. Was it down here? Although this sure does look like it should have been something. They won't see me coming. We fought that pretty bad enemy in here. I don't see anything. You know, just to kind of expedite things, I I might just have to look at Game Banshee to see if there's a. Clue. They won't see me coming. All right, man, I get it. I can't see you coming. This would be the obvious location for it. They won't see me coming. Oh, he's driving me crazy with that. I think if I were going to play this all the way to the end, I would have to uh, find a some type of patch or mod that would make him quit saying that. They won't see me coming. Let me just try that. What is it? It's command sounds. Put that to never. Say their command sounds. Okay. Let's check all these little cubby holes. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Er, got it. Got it. Got it. Yay! Now, should be able to get in there. They yeah, won't I didn't see have me. Ah! I just turned that off. Wait, I said never. How did it get switched back to uh, seldom? Let's try that. Maybe I didn't hit done. I don't want to turn the voices off completely because I like hearing Minsk and Boo. Did that fix it? Let's see, next time he tries to get in shadows, let's see. I don't know if that's considered a selection sound or a command sound. You must gather your party before venturing. I don't know if I've ever been in here. Oh, 
I should probably check the Chaps. They won't see me coming. <laughs> gotcha good. <sighs> what is your will? The other problem with this is, even though he's stealthing automatically, he's not Next time. backstabbing on They won't see me coming. Yeah, they must, there's probably like a mod you can get that'll just turn that off. Character subtitles. It's not a battle cry or character movement sound. <clears throat> no, I think I have been here. They won't see me coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. I just have to get used to it. That max stab is worth it though when you connect with that triple damage. Somebody's getting beat up. What is that little X thing? Blind? Yeah, she's blind. Okay, a lot of good XP here, too. Okay, let's go ahead and heal her up a little bit. Might as well do that bark skin. So what does that do for you? So her armor class is minus two. Still minus two. Is that damage resistance? What is that spell? Uh, you know, if you're going to enhance something, at least... I mean, how hard would it have been just let me click on that and go to the spell? Instead of having to dance all through this. Alright. Uh, skins becomes as tough as Bark, increasing its base armor class. Six, plus one every four levels. In addition, saving throws versus all attack forms except magic and a plus one bonus. So really, it's not going to be very good for her since she's already wearing armor. Except for the saving throw bonus. But you can cast it on other people. So she could throw that on probably my character, actually. They will see come. Probably be more useful on I my character. Okay, that's got to be trapped. Alright. <laughs> Doesn't it just have to be trapped? You are. Take what was that? The most frightening thing down here is me. Conjure air elements. Wow. That's a high level spell. I don't think she's. Wow. Well, level six. As you would have it. That's a cool spell. You know, what if I go into like his individual? Let's see, customize. Sounds! Default. Oh, this is just for his... Uh... Oh, I don't want to do that. Script. Use special abilities. Find traps. Sing bard song. Nah. It is done. I'll probably make it too big a deal about it. <clears throat> If there's a way to customize your sounds, then you could just copy it and then just leave that blank. Ooh, that was nasty. Yeah, I think I probably should have prepped before coming in this little area. Ooh, they might get me. Summon the woodland beings and get some, uh... Let's get some help. Oh, don't kill my character! You have minor drain here. You have vampire touch. That'll work. Me, magic has failed. Oh, failed. Ah, it's woodland beings. That's a sweet spell. Oh, she throws it. Ooh, calling it close. Yeah. 
Oh, so he's got some quick charm slots, or quick spell slots. Oh, I'm losing my mind! Okay, let's heal up a little bit here. Oh, he's invisible. That is so dumb. Hi, they I wasted my spells. Oh. You know, if it's a friendly spell, I should work on you, even if you're invisible. It's not like I would want to hide from you. Oh, okay. Yeah, those, that's that. They the sum of the woodland come. beings is great because I mean she's still here, casting spells. I mean, extremely useful. Whoa, the genie's back! See what all? I would have missed all this if I'd have just gone on. Who are you? I was captured in my home on this plane of air by some wizard. He bound me to this flask and I, that I might guard his things and something of yours. I do, a thing of power that still carries a hint of your essence. There is something odd about the signature that you left on this item. Can you give it to me? I am within the mage's power. If you can secure the means of my release, I will give you your weapon. How do I do that? This flask that I am bound to is a creation of magic. It is unbreakable as long as it remains apart from its twin, the real flask. You must find the original flask. Where can I find it? Perhaps the golems have it. I cannot pinpoint its location. Okay. So... They won't see you coming. So the go I remember there was a room with some golems in it. Maybe I can fight him now and get this guy's flask. Otherwise, something to do with the dryads. You know, might as well rest. It looks like a safe spot here. They won't see you coming. You require nothing more. Okay, now those golems were here in the go. room. That's a long way. Said it could be the dryads too. If I can fight these golems now. Guys, I wonder what kind of weapon it is. Probably a katana. <laughs> Scimitar would actually kind of make sense because I think he was wielding one. Save it. They won't see. Oh, Come. they're not even here anymore. Okay. Well, hmm. I think it could be with the dryads. Well, it's going to take a while to get that far. I wonder if the golem in this room is, would know anything. I feel like the dryads are the best possibility. Yeah, I'm tempted to throw a haste spell on just to finish this up. He's, watching these guys travel all across the map's not always the most exhilarating thing. Alright, let's try these dryads. Yulene. I got an ant named Yulene. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, there's an option here about a flask. 
We have the flask and she'll give it to you. Well, that was easy. Now I just have to go all the way back. <laughs> Watch him just attack me or something. This better be a good weapon. If this isn't a good weapon, I'm going to demand my refund. I like Baldur's Gate too, except for when I had to do that stupid blast fetch quest. All I got was a crummy. Now, what's the most useless, stupidest weapon type? There's a bunch. They will see me coming. Remember Pool of Radiance had all those weird ass weapons like the Vector Corball? <laughs> the Speedum or something like that. The Rancier. They won't see me coming. Okay, here we go. I sense you have the flask. At last I am free! Here's your idle fleshling! A sword of chaos! <laughs> that sounds good! And a level up! Yeah! Oh, she leveled up again? Are you kidding? Wow! Wow! That is so awesome! Oh, why didn't she get any new uh, spells or anything? Well, apparently her breath is better now. Thacko reduced by one. That's huge. Uh, she just split. Oh, yeah, she's multi-class. Yeah, fighter druid. Okay. Level up my dude. Okay, so yeah, we... Oh, I don't get any skill points? Oh, this must be the fighter level. What did I get? Didn't even say. She gets additional spells, hit points. Too bad she's about to be gone. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is so much fun. You are so addictive. You know, I just always liked summoning the monsters. That, to me, is just really hard to beat that. Oh, look at that son of a gun. Sword of Chaos! Holy crap! Each hit drains one hit point from the target and transfers it to the wielder. This is like constant having a vampiric touch on. It's a two-hander sword, though. So, <laughs> I guess mints could be about the only real option. Unless I wanted to totally redesign my character. Still, though, I mean, that's... So that brings this Thacko down to nine. So that's even better than that composite bow. So yeah, that's that's a pretty cool sword for Minsk. He basically heal with every strike. Oh, that is just bad ass. So worth it, man. Oh, can I quit playing at this point? <laughs> I don't want to stop. Oh, let's just go a little bit further. I want to get this, uh, see the sword in action. I hate they having to go through the MO coming. and lose an MO one again, though. That, that's going to suck. All right, geez. What was that? How do I? What do I? Who do I? Tell prisons. I thought as much. Oh, I got a long ways. I got to go, don't I? Yep. We gotta go all the way that circuitous route. Teleport portal. But check out my sword, man. Sword of chaos. <laughs> And I didn't even have to look at any hints to find it. 
You know, I think a nice mod for this would be that if you've cleared the whole level, you got rid of all the monsters, there should be an option here to just instantly teleport just by clicking on part of the map. All right, here we go. This might be a good spot. We could try out the new sword. That's a decent number of enemies. And for some reason, I'm not invisible. Why am I not invisible? Did I somehow not... Get, did I get rid of my script somehow? No. Okay, that's weird. Gotcha good. Great fun! Uh, let's see, where is he? Minsk. Let's watch him chop with that sword. Could be missed. <clears throat> well, he should be deadly accurate with that thing. Go ahead and just keep picking they up these arrows. Oh now he's invisible. After the battle. As oh, you would have it. Thank you, Matt. It is done. Okay, how do I get back to... Here we go, exit. Now, I'm pretty sure I've explored everything you can explore. But, you know, this is the funny... The fun thing about this game is like just barely scratched the surface. It's gonna start opening up after this. Then you got some great expansions to play. I mean, I just don't think we knew how good we had it back in, when this game came out. <laughs> you know, I remember people saying, "Yeah, this is a great game." Like I say, even my girlfriend at the time was really into it. You know, everybody was saying nice things about it. The magazines had good reviews and they might have nitpicked about the graphics and so on and so forth but you know I think just about anybody with any sense thought this is a great game but the only sad part is uh, I always thought this was just the start you know this was what night I forget the year like early 2000s or whatever I thought man it's just gonna get better and better from here they won't see me coming you know we're gonna have so many more games like this and it's just yeah, 10 years from now, who knows what we'll be playing. Something that much more awesome. Uh, and there have been some good games since then, but, you know, I still got to say, I, I think this is the this is the peak. I still feel like that. I, I don't feel like we've played, I've played a computer role-playing game since this game, this, uh, this came out, that I feel surpasses it. You know, there's certainly some great, I'm not saying that everything else sucks, okay? I mean, there's been some great stuff, great games. You know, the, the, like the Pillars is, is fun, the Divinity Original Sin, uh, good games. I mean, there's there's been plenty, right? But but just to me, and I, you know, playing this again, I was kind of wondering, like, how much of that is just nostalgia? How well does it hold up? But, but I can tell you, it's hard for me to stop playing. <laughs> I want to keep it going. You know, there's just so much more left to do. It's really got its, its hooks into me really nicely. And then when I think, you know, I, I know from playing this game before, it just gets better and better from here. Uh, it's just kind of amazing to me that a game could even be this good. Uh, if you like, if you haven't ever played this, I, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. I mean, what else do I have to say? <laughs> Download it and play it. I think if you've uh, played it and it's been a while, you know, I don't remember exactly when's the last time I when the when's the last time I played all the way through this, but uh, couldn't have been more than. Oh, five years or so and there's enough I, I still remember the most of the high mo moments of the story some of the big plot points but there's a you know, I probably forgot more than I remember uh, to say the least it'd be absolutely enjoyable to play it uh, again I like the uh, the enhancements they've I always feel like they could do more to enhance the game but you know the interface looks good it's smooth I haven't had any crashes uh, everything is quick you know, it plays nice, smooth. I don't, nothing really leaps out at me like, oh, you know, this is, why didn't they do this? You know, or anything like that. But the only negative was just having to hear that guy say, oh, the, you know, now they can't see me over and over. But there's probably a way I could even, if I really dug into this, I could probably figure out a control uh, or worst case scenario. Like I say, there's, there's a lot of mods uh, for this game. I could probably find out a way to, to cancel it if it was really bugging me that bad. Uh, 
Or I think I could even just turn off the sounds uh, for my character. Because I don't really need my character to talk anyway. You know, I like to do the talking for my character. Uh, so yeah, Baldur's Gate 2, again, holds up really well. You know, even like the uh, the story here, it is disturbing. You know, it's quite disturbing. I can imagine some players would find this basically, a, you know, even a, a what's the, there's a phrase I'm blanking on right now, but you know what I mean. Like certain people might really have a negative, strongly negative reaction to this. You know, you know, I can understand that. But but on the other hand, it's really, uh, you know, there's so many games where it's just kind of silly. Like, oh, the villain, he's just an evil guy just because he's evil. And he delights in evil. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and you feel like the only reason you're there is just kind of because that's what you have to do to win the game. And, uh, you don't really feel this personal need uh, t to destroy the bad guy. Whereas with this, you know, and again, it gets much deeper as you go along. But Man, you you really, <laughs> I mean, it's almost like this visceral feeling. I don't, I don't like this Irenicus guy. I mean, he he's got to go, you know. And the fact that you have this attachment to your characters like Emma Wynn kind of just makes it hurt worse. I mean, it actually has like an emotional. This this game gets to you. You know, as much fun as I have with the gameplay and the mechanics and things of that, the, the story and the characters really start to have a, you know, they they really. You know, this is, you'd be thinking about this uh, long after you quit playing for the day or you know, even, for the, even for the week. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I will leave it here because I don't want to just go on forever. And obviously, you can, you can play the game for yourself. But I think it, you know, I started off, I said this has been my favorite game. I consider it the best CRPG of all time. I wanted to uh, play this for episode 500. I was kind of saving uh, this game for a long time. I wanted to have a special sort of milestone before I did it. So I feel like that's appropriate. Uh, even after all these years, I don't think anything's better than this. I think it still holds that spot. At least for me, it still holds that spot as the number one CRPG. Uh, I know there's a Baldur's Gate 3 coming out, but you know, I think it would just be a miracle. I would be absolutely stupefied if it was better than this. Uh, if it was as good as this, I would be amazed and, and cherish it. <laughs> uh, but just uh, I haven't really played it yet, to be honest with you, so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to wait until it's completely done uh, before I tackle it, uh, the third game. But uh, you know, I'd be quite happy just to play this 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 game. Just just let me be in a situation where I can play Baldur's Gate one and Baldur's Gate two and the Icewind Dale series and. The, uh, I like the original Fallout games. You know, just, I just want to play those <laughs> over and over again. You know, a few years in between playthroughs is, is fine. You go back and have a good time. Uh, they hold up really well. Uh, but anyway, I'll stop it here. Baldur's Gate 2, hell of a game. We barely just scratched the surface on this. I might have to come back and do a couple follow-up videos just for that reason because I feel like it deserves, uh, you know, more attention, more videos. Uh, plus, it's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be playing it anyway, so I might as well make some videos. Uh, anyway, I'll stop it here and see you guys next time. And that's all for this week's episode, month's episode, whatever it is, year's episode. It's the first one of the new year. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. If you don't, Man, just uh, download Baldur's Gate 2, play that a little bit, and everything will be okay. Right? <laughs> you know, I thought, you know, since I got this box, uh, this box handy, let's just take, let's just pop this thing open and see what you got in the collector's edition. Oh, it's a nice sliding thing. Oh, so we got a poster. What is all this? Wow. So they give you a cloth map. Baldur's Gate Shadows of Om. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. And a paper map. And we get the game manual. Whoa, look at the size of that thing, man. It's like a college textbook. Spiral bound, hell yeah. Got the discs, of course. Uh, it's like a bonus disc. Probably the soundtrack's my guess. Just says a uh, bonus disc. I'm just going to assume that's the soundtrack's what I would do. Oh, look at this. We got a really thick, beefy little notepad. You can take your notes on this. That's pretty cool. 
black it's a black aisle i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's got uh, all sorts of nice backgrounds they're not just for this game uh, and then what do we have uh oh i got a discount on some gaming speakers wow look at this <laughs> cambridge soundworks <laughs> oh we got a looks like a, some kind of quick reference card Ooh, it's laminated man they weren't kidding around you know you know, if you just had the default copy of the game, you'd probably get a lot of fun stuff. But, man, the collector's edition, wow. You know, this is all great stuff. Just really adds to the experience. <clears throat> you know, I would, uh, I don't know how much this thing costs. It's been too long. <laughs> but uh, this is a great collector's edition. I'm not sure what Beamdog has put together for theirs. Uh, I'm going to be kind of curious with that. But, yeah, if you can get your hands on this, you definitely should. And uh, I don't know what game you'd rather have. I mean, Baldur's Gate 2, big box. Oh, oh good stuff. Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, <laughs> thank you. I need to thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you very, very, very much for your support of Matt Chat. I could not have made it to episode 500. There's no way this would have happened without you. You know, a lot of people like Matt Chat. A lot of people like Baldur's Gate 2, games like this. They, they want to watch videos about these games. They want to hear about the developers or hear from the developers. They want to talk to other people that like the games. They, they like the community. Uh, but only a very few people uh, from that group ever bothered uh, to really step up and say, you know, I want to support this show. I want to be part of it. You know, I want to keep you going, Matt. <laughs> help you uh, keep the show in production. Help you keep going all the way up to episode 500. Uh, so I really want to thank those people. You know, I appreciate it, people just watching the show. Uh, but man, if you have stepped up to support it financially on top of that, I really and truly am grateful to you. Uh, so thank you so much for that. You made it all possible. Uh, so thank you. Episode 500. Uh, give yourself, <laughs> you know, if you supported the show, give yourself a round of applause. You, you're just as much uh, responsible for this as I am. Your humble Matt Chad producer. All right, well, what about that news from the Matt Cave? What about that news from the Matt Cave? My little, uh, my little friend here, I don't know if you can see him. He's, he's kind of spooky. <laughs> you know, I see stuff like that on, sometimes um, uh, you're on Amazon, you see something like that on sale, and you're like, you know, I'm going to grab it. Because you never know when that might come in handy, that little guy. <laughs> All right, Miko's got some news for us. Good old Miko. Do you remember a game called Colossal Cave? Uh, sometimes it's called Advent, or sometimes it's called uh, Adventure. There's different names for it. Uh, sometimes it's just CCA, uh, lots of different versions. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> you know Roberta Williams and Ken Williams of Sierra? Uh, did some of the best uh, graphic role-playing uh, graphic role-playing games no graphic adventure games of all time uh, king's quest etc plus they founded a pretty good company if you uh, ask me uh, anyway for whatever reason they decided they wanted to remake the original colossal cave which was i believe maybe the first if not the very first went very early at the very least uh, text adventure game and thus <clears throat> adventure game <laughs> you probably played it before. If you played Zork in any of those later games, uh, they, of course, were inspired largely by this original. Uh, Will Crowther and Don Woods. You know, and I've said a little bit about the history of this game. Uh, those guys were both D&D uh, &D fans, and I think Crowther, I'm wanting to say, was a caver or a spelunker. I think there's some subtle difference in between those terms. But anyway, he liked going in, in caves, and, the, and uh, the cave he was at. The cave he liked exploring had fun names like the Hall of the Mountain King and, and so on and so forth. So he, he was inspired to make this game. I think he did it for his uh, kids. Uh, I don't remember quite what the, de what the deal was. I don't know if he was estranged from him or whatever. Uh, but anyway, this Don Woods character came along later and thought it'd be fun to add some uh, more fantasy, magic, puzzles, and elements uh, to it. So it really became this phenomenon. And it, uh, I don't think it's an exaggeration. Uh, to say this game really helped launch the whole video games and especially the computer games industry. I mean, everybody back in the, I'd say, early 80s, late 70s through the early 80s had played a text adventure at some point. 
I mean, they were really fantastic games. Uh, and anyway, Roberta Williams, um, she wanted to remake this game with graphics. And what they've done here, they've recreated the environments with meticulous handcrafted art, imaginative uh, environmental creations based on the actual caverns, rendering the vast and engaging cave and fully explorable 3D art. It's currently 35 bucks on Steam. I think you should pick this up, especially if you're one of those guys that was pirating all the Sierra games back in the day. <laughs> Despite those manual lookups and cog wheels and all the other stuff. You know, go ahead and pick this game up. You know, I think it's a good, good team. You know, these are good people and I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, there was some discussion about uh, whether they're going to do a VR version, some type of more immersive thing. You know, so I don't know about how, where that is or if that's, a, that's in the works, but... Uh, anyway, pretty cool as is, if I, uh, if you ask me. And then Punny, you know, Punny Pun, Pun Punny. Yes, Punny writes in about Age of Wonders 4. Good series of games. You probably played some of the previous ones. Uh, really nice. Uh, if you like uh, strategy, fantasy, and oh, uh, what else? I mean, you probably know the series. But anyway, uh, this fourth one's coming out soon. Yeah, it's a 4X strategy with turn-based tactical combat, of course. Now, what's really notable about this, in addition to a lot of other, other improvements and enhancements and so on and so forth, this one has a rat faction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> rat people. I think they said they have toad people, but I mean, rat people. You had me at rat people, Age of Wonders 4. You know, I had to check this out, you know, of course. Is it out? I don't think I wrote down the date. Man, I am I am behind. <laughs> it's just been one of those weeks, man. I mean, what a year this is turning out to be. Uh, uh, but anyway, Age of Wonders 4 with rat people. Uh, and then finally, I don't know how to digest all this. A lot of people, I've been getting texts from my mother-in-law <coughs> and like colleagues at school about all this stuff with Wizards of the Coast and the op open gaming license and uh, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I hate that stuff. I just, I just cringe when I see legalese. I don't even like the the, uh, uh, the boilerplates or the, what, the EULAs that you have to click on to install stuff. I, I just hate all of it. You know, I, I just don't see what it brings to the table uh, except for, you know, expensive lawsuits and, and people getting sued over ridiculous things. Uh, but anyway, this one is particularly nefarious, I feel. Uh, you might remember Hasbro a while back was saying uh, they want to monetize, or they feel like D&D is under-monetized. You know, it's just kind of a fancy way to say they, they want to squeeze more money from the, <laughs> the player base, uh, the fans, and, and uh, the people that are making content uh, to support the game, you know, the third-party publishers and game developers. So anyway, it's beyond my pay grade. It's not my department, uh, but just the impression I get was that whether intentionally or whether it was just poorly thought out or uh, I don't know what the deal was, but they sort of uh, bit this uh, fan base in the behind. There was a big backlash because basically they had said before, the understanding I guess was that you could make content using this open gaming license uh, that was, you know, be compatible with the uh, with the game, and it'd be, it'd be everything would be fine, uh, but now it sounds like they wanted to renege uh, on some aspects of that agreement, and saying you can't make video games based on it, for example, is just a big, a big mess. I don't know what, who the hell thought this was a good idea, uh, but anyway, again, if you want the, uh, if you want a detailed, authoritative explanation of all this, you'll have to ask somebody else, because <laughs> uh, it's way too complicated for yours truly. Uh, but anyway. The news is that uh, Paizo, P-A-I-Z-O, the, those are the Pathfinder guy, uh, guys, uh, they have done a sort of a, a walk or a, a, a license they're calling the, what, what are they calling it? Uh, update, I want to make sure I get the right name. Yes, Open RPG Creative License, or ORC. <laughs> so the company announced last Thursday that it's creating a new open RPG creative license designed to be open, per perpetual, and irrevocable. Irrevocable? Irrevocable. Anyway, one of those. Uh, so if you are a game developer and you're interested in 
doing something, you don't want to just make up your totally own unique system that like can only be useful for your own players. <laughs> you know, you want to make something compatible with a larger, uh, a larger game, a larger universe with a uh, connecting to a pre-existing fan base. This, this is definitely something you should look into. Uh, so that's good news, I guess. You know, I've been, you know, some of you guys in the comments hopefully can chime in and, and clarify some of these issues around all this. I don't, I don't really want to get into it. It's just, uh, <laughs> uh, to me, it just seems like a real mess. And I don't know if it's just people being greedy or people being dumb or people, uh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> you know, it just seems like they really stirred up the hornet's nest. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of, I have to admit, I'm a little biased uh, here. I'm always kind of biased in favor of the small studios, the independent developers, you know, people like Pierre, uh, Knights of the, of the Chalice. You know, I, I would, I'm going to be on his side, not the side of the big corporate lawyers and, you know, Hasbro, <laughs> the, the suits. <laughs> you know, no thanks. So anyway, I'm kind of disappointed uh, this is even a thing, to be honest with you. But hopefully they'll get it, get it all worked out. All right, anyway, um, uh, since it's 500, I said, you know, I've got to have a Matt Chad Ale, you know. We just have to do it. It, it wouldn't be right not to have a, a really nice Matt Chad Ale. So I went to the store looking for something I thought would be worthy of <laughs> Matt Chad 500. And then, you know what, I've tried these before. They come out every year. Uh, they're just really fantastic. Uh, Surly Brewing Company does this darkness. Um, a couple different variations of it. They have the Russian Imperial Stouts, and they, so there's a slight variation every uh, year. They come out in just an awesome, awesome box. I try to get one of these uh, every year just because I love the, you know, it sounds kind of corny, but I just really love the artwork on these boxes. I, I It's kind of a collectible thing for me. You know, just, just this, this box art is just utterly fantastic. And it's, of course, fantasy oriented, so it's, it's really nice uh, for doing match at L Weeks. Uh, but anyway, I haven't, of course, uh, opened this or sampled it yet. Well, even like the, there's little details on this inside, little imprints and things. It's just totally awesome. Okay, and then we have the, the can here. And again, that awesome artwork is on the can. And let's see if I can read the text. Art by Eddie Wolf. So Eddie Wolf, I don't know if he does other kinds of artwork, uh, but he is fantastic. And this is um, brewed and canned right here in Minneapolis and Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. So probably just up the road. Uh, it's a pint, of course, Russian Imperial Stout. Not a whole lot of uh, you know, information about the beer. It says it's 12%, which is certainly, uh, you know, it's, it's more than a Budweiser, but it's fairly typical for a Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, but anyway, let's get this son of a gun open and see what it's all about. All right, so I hope you guys can forgive me for this uh, dry throat I've been experiencing. You know, when uh, you live in Minnesota and you have uh, all this snow and ice on the ground for like six months, and then I guess it absorbs all kinds of garbage out of the air, and then when it starts to thaw out a little bit, all that stuff just gets released and blows around, and, you know, it's just... <sighs> you know, need I say more? What might help is a really, really good ale. And I got it right... Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I'll pour some of the drinking horn here. Uh, we'll do that, but let me set it down because I don't want to uh, spill any of this. Let's see if I can get it open. You know, I almost don't want to open. It's just such a such a nice presentation on this. Let's uh, pour some here in the horn, then I'll pour some in a glass just so you can see the color. <clears throat> well, I can already smell it and I haven't even put my nostrils up to this. And that's with a bit of a stopped up nose. <laughs> oh, I wish you could smell this. <clears throat> it just smells so good. Kind of a chocolatey, cherry-like aroma to this. Very pleasant, very uh, fragrant. You know, it just smells really, really good. You know, a lot of times you get, especially when you get a strong ale, if you try to do this, you'd be like, whoa! <laughs> it's like you got like a chemical blast on like the alcohol. Uh, I mean, this is just completely smooth. Ah, you know, it actually smells really good. I'll give it a taste out of this uh, rather excellent drinking horn. Ah, ah, 
really good. Super smooth. Oh my God. Kind of a cocoa uh, flavor to this. Very, uh, just sweet enough. It's kind of like a, uh, almost a bit of kind of a bourbon-like uh, flavor to this. I'm going to give it another taste here. Mm. Good God, this is delicious. It's just creamy. It's like kind of a real creamy chocolate milk. I mean, just really tasty. Uh, really complex, too. A lot of flavors. Uh, on that back end, you definitely kind of get the... Uh, <coughs> Uh, I guess sort of the cherry, a little bit of that, almost kind of a smoky uh, quality, to, uh, quality to this. Let me pour some in the centipede glass. You'll be able to see it. See if you like the color on this. Very, very dark. You know, I've been home brewing a little bit of beer, but uh, the beer that I've been working on takes about eight weeks. <laughs> it's a, a Doppelbach. <coughs> So I didn't want to wait for eight weeks to do a mad chat, uh, make you wait that long. But hopefully, before too much longer, that'll be ready, and I can do a, you know, sample that. I also have something. I think it's called a. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's a take on Blue Moon. It's like this homebrew version of a Blue Moon, which I kind of like. Those they are very light, very low alcohol. Some coriander in that, I think, and some. Um, uh, some orange peel. Uh, so that'll be interesting, a little something different. But yeah, this smells good, of course, out of the glass, too. Very, very dark. Good head on this. Very thick, very creamy. Mmm. Man. This is just phenomenal. Wow. Uh, you definitely should hunt this down if you've got any chance of getting one. As I say, they're a limited number. Even, the, even here in Minnesota, they limit you to one can. Uh, it's about about 12 bucks a can, so it's, it's kind of pricey, but, you know, again, I'd rather have, like, one really, really good beer uh, than a six-pack or a whole case of crap. You know, just me personally, uh, I think you would agree, too, if you could sample this. Mmm. Ah, oh, phenomenal. All right, full five out of five drinking horns, obviously, on that. Wow, Surly, Darkness, Russian Imperial Stout, uh, 2022 edition. Uh, the only nitpick I have with this, I really wish they would give you more information. You know, if you're going to go to this much trouble, put like a little card in there or something and tell you like what makes the 2022 different than the one before. You know, sometimes they do collaborations, but it, it's just like nothing on this except for the awesome artwork. I want information. So <laughs> other than that criticism, <laughs> uh, wonderful. All right, let's wrap it up with a quote. Uh, and I was looking for quotes about... Uh, friendship, yeah, because you guys are my friends, right? <laughs> we hate you, Matt. No, you don't. You don't watch 500 episodes of Matt Chat and not like the show, not like the host. Come on. Uh, anyway, the quote I think you will appreciate, if nothing else, it's unfortunately unknown, at least to the website that hosted this quote, who said this, but it goes something like this. If you have friends who are as weird as you, then you have everything. <laughs> and friends, if you've been watching Mad Chat for 500 episodes, you have a friend who's just as weird as you are. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and see you next time.
space rat. Friends of yours? Friends? Space rats? There's no such thing as a friend of a space rat. They even hate each other. What else do you know about? They're maniacs, psychopaths. All they live for is sex and violence, booze and speed. And the fellas are just as bad.